Yeah. Hello. Whoa. It's so Hello. it's so unnerving when I unmute and it's silent. I'm just like, oh my. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we're not mid sentence and it's weird. It is. It's 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 it feels it feels almost feels strange. Uh, feels bizarre. It does uh, bah, 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 bah. okay? What am I doing? I think I'm doing. This one and this one for atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, should do that. And then I. So we're vocally phone. live right now. We are vocally live right I now. I would okay. assume. Okay. Yes. We are vocally live right now. The wonderful audience can hear you. Wonderful, wonderful folks. Is, <coughs> is everyone currently. Been, 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 we're missing one. Wait. One? We're missing. Two people who aren't in I'm here. The, from Foundry? In Foundry. I'm oh. Oh. Foundry. Who's not in Foundry? I don't just, look at it until we start playing. Oh. We are. Oh, we're starting to play. Oh, oh, yeah, I I'm, forgot. I'm in. Taunting I'm taking damage. I need I'm my dad already. What the hell? Where's my Tontu? Where's your Tontu? He's right there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, not, not that's not the Tonto you know. That's yeah. The Tontor? I'm sorry. Tontor. Tontor. <laughs> That's Tontor. his new form. Um, <laughs> he hit odd. Oh, yeah, that would just, be his evolution. Just so you guys are aware, uh, we did push the server over to update ten. We were playing on update nine for the longest yeah, time. Yeah, I saw something downloaded. So, oh, so wait, what was the what's the difference? The primary. Oh, I forgot we were in a fight. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the difference is, um. You can ping by default, which is fun. So, and it has it's co this cool little thing now, which is really awesome. Oh, yeah, I love this. I love this cool. pinging. And then, Wait, how does the pinging work? Uh, you hold the mouse. The whole left click. Oh, that's yeah. so intuitive that I, I just knew. So it's now default. Uh, also, uh, there's this lovely little zoom. Now, when I'm moving Ooh. the camera, it's not super intrusive or just jostling anymore. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I, I really be, like that. I could be like. Look at Remo, and then oh uh, yeah, it's smooth. And then yeah, everyone look at Remo. This and stop. And stare. Ah. Stop looking. Stop looking. <laughs> stop it. Holds ears over face. Uh, and then uh, I think there is a another combination. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can do a triangle, which is Alt click. I don't know what this is for. What but does triangle mean? I don't know. As opposed danger to danger or something. Who knows? Great question. Yeah, I think triangle Circle. makes makes like a dan danger sense. And then yeah. Oh, and also if you hold alt, I guess you can kind of see, yeah, who's did you, good, who's bad, I suppose, token-wise. Yes. Did you purposely give me yellow? No. Oh, I just happened to have yellow. We, yeah. We're assigned oh, yellow colors. Yeah. Is it based oh, right. on, like, the primary color of your character? Yeah, I'm purple, yeah. So, You're purple. <laughs> so if you, if you guys go over uh, to the player section, which is in the lower left-hand corner where you see all the little buttons, that's the color that's been assigned to you. <laughs> Uh, if you right-click your name and go into user configuration, you can change your color. So if you don't want to be, the only thing I ask is don't you can't you can't be red, because it also what about white. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you can. So what what the color does is it it's the color of your area of effects as well as your pink. Yeah, I'll be white. I'm gonna color code this shit. Mm -hmm. How you get to it? So in the lower left-hand corner, do you see where all the the colors are? Little 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 circle colors. Oh yeah. Click that, and it'll it'll uh, load out all of the player names. You can right-click your name. I think. Oh. I, I did it. Fine. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, so you should be able to right-click your name. I th I think that's how that works. Um, I don't know how to do it from the player side, from the DM side. Yeah, you right-click your name, and you go into user configuration. And, uh, oh yeah, I guess you can, because I can right-click. There it is, yeah, right-click, user configuration, and then you can change your, uh, your color. Mine's on pink, but it looks orange. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. I think I, I chose pink, and then on the outside, it's like an orange box. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I see pink. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then when you hold the mouse button, you should have a, a pink thing now. If you hold, yeah, there it Whoa, is. Oh, cool. Um, okay, good. I thought, <laughs> uh, oh gosh. 
Uh, go gosh, gosh, gosh. So, yeah, feel free to do that. Uh, okay. So, mm -hmm. you guys ready to start? Yes. yes. With this lovely new party member. That you have. Yeah, I don't know who this is. <laughs> She's ready. She's ready. Ah! <laughs> that caught me off guard. I'm scared there. Um, so anyway, yeah, I was cool, God too. She jump scared me. Yeah, big old. Jump. Uh, so uh, currently, uh, you guys are in the palace of the collector in the shadows veil. Uh, after arriving here, um, from the destruction of Frostfell, after felling, uh, or rather liberating uh, the mournful queen. Uh, the last session was a lovely little dinner that you had. Uh, where the uh, your gracious host, the one of the lords of shadow, uh, Mephistopheles, hosted the dinner for you guys, uh, along with their gourmet mancers, creating uh, these uh, essentially whatever your heart desired, whatever kind of food you wish to have at that point um, was being produced uh, for you by the Gourmet Mancers and by Mephistopheles. Uh, you learned a little bit about uh, Mephistopheles' uh, history. Uh, you learned he was once a mortal by the name, uh, that he went by the name, uh, his, his, I guess, pen name, I suppose, the best way to describe it, uh, Mr. Mephisto. Um, and he admitted that the reason why there is devils, um, the reason why there's a breach over in Asmodia, and the reason why how he became the Lord of Shadow is because he offered a uh, a an artifact uh, essentially uh, to Asmodeus, which allowed for the not only the birth of Asmodeus uh, but the creation of the Devil Race. And the reason why um, Asmodia, the Kingdom of Asmodia, over a thousand years ago had been uh, long since destroyed, torn away, uh, its populace sacrificed. Uh, to create these new shadow tieflings and devils. Uh, he has uh, um, an indifference towards it. I mean, he has regret in the sense that it felt the lives were, should not have been, you know, any life lost is, is a tragedy. But it, he, he doesn't seem distraught by it. I think Benji had a good explanation for it, uh, better than I could explain it. But there was, there was a bit of an indifference towards it. Like, he recognizes that the incident was indeed a tragedy. He wished it didn't happen, but it happened. And here he is. He has uh, told you guys he has really no interest to create breaches or return back to Io. And he has tried to make a life for himself along with his followers right here, the Shadow Vale. Uh, he's also told you a little bit of uh, a couple of Lords of Shadow who... Uh, have an interest in creating uh, breaches, uh, including one Orlok's vampire uh, Eternia, uh, who have overheard a conversation he had with one of his guards uh, that um, Orlok's is on the move. This 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 Lord Vampire, this one of the Lords of Shadow, uh, he's a, he's apparently on the move. Uh, you've also heard uh, stories of one of the Lords of Shadow, Ashura. Uh, had failed an attempt to try and create a, a breach, but it seems like Orlox is also ready to, to make some moves here. Uh, and once Orlox has made their move, uh, everyone will be made aware of it. So, as concerning as that may be, uh, it's kind of biding time. Uh, meanwhile, a discussion has taken place where Bephistopheles said, if you so wish it, uh, he would assist you. In returning back to Io, um, and then after a lovely meal, uh, Remo was sort of chomping at the bit to go to the arena, uh, and uh, Mephistopheles found that an entertaining idea with the nobles of the Palace of the Collector um, watching to see what you all are capable of of doing. So. Uh, you guys have head over to the arena, the sparring area, where uh, nobles uh, of the palace, as well as those living within the walls, sort of gathered around and um, and sort of started to 
watch and, and see, you know, what Ionians truly are capable of. Uh, your first match is a specialized ink egg, specifically a flathead ink egg. You can see from the flat shield-like head uh, that this creature has uh, up, well, on top of their head. Um, mm -hmm. That it is, it is a sort of subspecies of Ankeg. Um, <laughs> bless you. So, thank you. I think that was all the key things. Was there anything that you guys would like to uh, add in or anything like that? Um, no, that's accurate. I'm just coming up with a working theory <laughs> on how to fight this thing. Awesome. What Tantu? Well, I was just gonna punch him. Oh yes, and of course we ended. Oh yes, Tantu too. <laughs> yes, we've uh, we we ended the session with Tantu, uh, who, in this sort of infinite white void, uh, saw this goopy child, this eldritch child is the best way to describe it, said uh, that you were ready, and Tantu has transformed into this eldritch being. Uh, so, I suppose we can start with that. Did I roll everyone's initiative already? I seem to remember you doing did. it. Oh, I did. But if you don't have them... You uh, know, we have an initiative on the right. I can see it yeah. still. Yeah, wow. Okay, Ah, cool. oh, fuck. Yeah. I can't right. believe you've done this. I can't, be I can't believe you've done this. Um, so, one of the things in Update 10, in case you moved your hotbar around, I had mine in the upper left corner. Um, because originally it, these, uh, items in the hotbar would drop down. Well, now it's above the hotbar. So if you need to move your hotbar because it's like the keys. Mine's still you... below. Okay. So I moved mine to the top. I don't know. Maybe if it else adjusted did it. accordingly. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, it's basically. Mine has a ruined. scroll feature though. I'm noticing. Oh, that's weird. Uh, if I have a long list, I can scroll through them. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, if you need to move it around, let me know. But otherwise, that should, that should be it. Okay, so before we get started, as this snarling inkhead kind of reveals themselves from the gate below, um, uh, who is... Oh, I see. Eldritch Tantu is at the bottom of the initiative round. So Slow as fuck. Well, that'll be good because um, uh, I'll... Uh, I guess I'll just explain what, what Eldritch Tantu can do uh, in comparison to the normal Tantu. So, uh, Sam, as well as the audience at home, your Eldritch form is essentially like your offensive form. This is where, if you wish to deal some damage, your Eldritch form is the way to go. By sacrificing uh, your defenses, your AC drops to 15. You're unable to wield your equipment. Um, however, you do gain a bite and a claw attack. Uh, the bite attack it can pro can um, if a creature it must be oh yeah the bite attack uh, can knock a creature prone. Um, if you wish to if you wish to go ahead and use that, uh, the claws is just if you want to go ahead and do flat damage. Your claws do two d six, uh, and you have a multi attack of two claws. You can replace one of those claws with a bite, if you so wish. The bite uh, is going to deal less damage, 2d4, uh, but does have the ability to knock creatures prone if they fail their strength saving throw. Uh, more importantly, uh, you regain your channel divinity uh, in this form, but you can only do the Mark of the Martyr uh, instead of your other channel uh, divinity ability. Uh, mm -hmm. You've also gained a couple of new features. Uh, you have keen hearing and smell, uh, as a wolf typically does. So you have advantage on wisdom uh, checks that rely on hearing and smell. You get the uh, Eldritch Invasion uh, when you're subject to an effect that allows you to make a dexterity saving throw uh, to only take half damage. You instead take no damage if you succeed on the saving throw and only half damage if you fail. And then finally, you have Eldritch Tactics to advantage on all melee attack rolls against any unmounted creature that is your size or smaller. Uh, this is your quote unquote uh, mount form. So this is this is the appearance that you take on um, with your mounted combat. 
And, uh, and yeah, so, uh, the, you're immune to being diseased, but that's from you being a paladin. And I think that's the only thing. Oh, yes. Um, you can still cast spells in this form. However, you are only limited to the spells that your domain gives you. So, Bane, Absorb Elements, Spike Growth, and Bark Skin so far. And finally, you are able to smite in this form. However, it, it, instead of a Divine Smite, it is transformed into an Eldritch Smite, meaning your Holy Damage now deals Force Damage. And uh, your movement speed has increased to 40 as well. Uh, this You also gain uh, 11 hit points. Uh, but this is not like a wild shape. So if you drop to zero hit points, you don't come back at full health. You revert back to your normal form and you fall unconscious. So use these forms um, sparingly if you wish. You can transform into your Eldritch form uh, up to three times a day, equal to your proficiency bonus uh, and your uh, Eldritch points that you have gained. Uh, allows you to do another ability, which will be revealed to you in due time. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. If you want to Did you get all that? That's going to be on the test. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> luckily, he, luckily, he sent it to me in text form. So I just, <laughs> yeah, I sent it in luckily, text form. Luckily, he can form. just read it. Yeah, I sent it in text form. Uh, it is also at the end of the initiative count. That was more so for the audience, yeah. so they know what we're dealing with and what are. I don't remember the last time Brett sent me a text, but yeah. Are you <laughs> wanting to tell me something? Like, just do you want me to like, send you just a text? Just like, hi, how's your day? Kind of thing. I will check in on you on the daily to make sure that you're doing great. That's too much. Oh. I can't promise I'll respond. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have asked this. Yeah, you shouldn't have. You sh fucking shouldn't have. <laughs> so, <laughs> without further ado. Go ahead and get started and see what the Yay. warriors of Io are capable of. Uh, first, some music. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm looking at all these things. All right. All right. We begin our combat with QB. I unpause. Oh, hey. QB, it is your, uh, oh, and one more thing. I'll go ahead and get the grid so you guys can see what's happening. I love the grid. I love the grid. Put me back on the grid. Give me the grid. Oh, that's everything's so bright purple right now. Is that intentional? No. What? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Is it the lanterns? Oh, it's the lanterns. Yeah, did you know? Yeah, it's like, like, like an ambience. No, it was way, way more, uh, Muted. gray. Oh yeah. yeah, I think they also updated the. Um, I think they also updated. The lighting. Yeah, they updated the lighting engine for this one. Mm. Um, Damn. did the grid pop up for you guys? Because no, it did not pop up for the player view. No, sir. Cool. Oh, here we go. What if I just? Uh... Give me one second. I'm gonna reload. Like zoom me out like super hard. Yeah, it that... did that. It did that to me too. So I'm gonna change maps. And see if you that... do not own any tokens of vision in this scene. Yeah. The grid is back. There we go. And we have the grid. The map. Okay. Uh, QB. Okay. Um, I think first I'll cast um, uh, Mage Armor. Okay. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and give you the Mage Armor. Your AC is now 17. Okay. And, Damn. um, uh, can I do a, a check, I guess, to see, like, if he has any weaknesses? Do we still do that, or? I mean, it's, uh, if you want to go ahead and see if he has any exposed vulnerabilities, you can. Um, oh. investigation, or I would say for this one, nature check. See if there's nature. any exposed weaknesses. Okay. Okay. Uh, also, I need to know if you're using an, uh, oh, you used your action for that, so that's your bonus action. Um, so as far as obvious vulnerabilities that you can see upon him, uh, this seems to be a very formidable creature. Uh, no vulnerabilities can be spotted, uh, as you generally overlook. Um, however, uh, you do feel because of how this creature exerts itself, how it pushes itself, um, as the battle goes on and as it wears on, 
vulnerabilities uh, may expose themselves. Meaning, uh, the creature uh, may get into a a state of paralysis, allowing you to deal, uh, allowing a person to deal extra damage. Usually, when this when a creature falls into a state of paralysis, it gains vulnerability to all damage sources. But the first source of damage dealt to the creature will knock it out of its paralysis state, reverting it back to normal. These will be a good time to, you know, essentially decide who's your highest damage dealer and have it go for that. Right. Okay. Very helpful. Um, okay, I think that's my turn for now. Okay. Um, just so you guys are aware, uh, apparently you are able to end your own turn if you have the combat tracker loaded. If your combat tracker is not up, uh, by going up to the upper right-hand corner, you should see uh, a cross, uh, two swords crossed. It should be the second button. By clicking that, uh, you'll see the combat tracker. See what everyone's in. Oh, is. nice. Cool. I just ended my turn. There it is. Cool. Um, and that way, you guys can end your turn. And once your turn is ended, it lets me know that your turn's ended. And so I won't take, like, my turns over because sometimes people will decide afterwards, like, oh, wait, I should be doing this, blah, blah, blah. It gives you a moment to rethink <laughs> all that before you hit the end turn. But once the turn that is over, is cool. it is over. All right, Howie, <laughs> this giant ant-like creature is... <laughs> It's just sort of digging into the ground with its spiked two legs as it's looking around to see what its first target is going to be. What would you when like you say to digging do? into the ground, do you in any way mean that it's trying to tunnel or burrow? It's scratching the ground a little bit. Mm. Okay, interesting. Um, well, Howie noticing that, I'm going to take flight. I'm, I'm. You said I was roughly 15 feet off the ground. Each each level Correct. was five feet. Correct. Um, and it's 10 feet-ish tall, so I Correct. should be above it. I'm going to uh, try and stealthily fly directly above its head. Okay. How high um, above are you? Or are you just saying... Just like, I want to be really close, like f within five feet at the top okay, of its head. Okay, so, so what you're doing, just so I understand... You're yeah. flapping, uh, you're sort of like hovering here in the air, still maintaining your 15 feet height, and then you're kind of like, I'm assuming like moving, moving over across. Here. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. the, the way I sees it, all right, his head, his blind spot is definitely right above his head, right? Yes. There's no way it can see up. But that so, hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like try to maintain like positional right above its head. Okay. Um. And. It's trying to, it's trying to burrow, uh, I think, how he thinks. So, c can you do a, um, a cantrip as a held action? Yeah, you can prepare uh, for it's that. It's an action, yeah. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh, that cantrip's way too weak. Shit. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to, end my turn there and just stay, try and stay above it for now. Okay. Uh, when you are done, go ahead and hit end turn in the combat tracker. Yes. And I, I know this is going to take an adjustment, so no worries if I remind you. Sorry, I've got to plan my next turn because I've got limited spell slots. Remo. All right, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20... Uh, five and fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty. Well, you're. You Can I like? To, you well, to, you don't you have, have to mean. go. You have to go around that that hill. So just make sure that. I think it measured right. Well, when it, when you measured, it like moved along with you. Yeah. So do the math real quick. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45, 50. All right, end me right here. Okay. And then I, uh, I'll do a dodge action. Okay. And then so you'll take the dodge action. And then once you are done. Oh, yeah. Uh, end turn. Oh. Good. Olive. Okay. Are these two within... Oop. Yes. Okay. Um, I will do emboldening bond on Remo and Kopi. Mm -hmm. Let me do that. Click. Thanks, Olive. 
No problem. Uh, and that'll end my turn. I'll stay here next to big, fluffy, scary Tonti. Okay. And uh, make sure Click. you hit. Yep. Perfect. All right. So the ink keg is sort of like looking around, scratching at the at the ground a little bit and seeing what it can it can do. Um, I'm gonna roll a fate roll because those are fun. I drive that selective roll. The monka the monka rolls. The monka rolls, uh, unfavorable. Uh, it sees Remo sort of like peeking over here and it's just and it starts to scurry over, peeking around the hill. Uh, you you will watch uh, as its giant pincers will lean down uh, in an attempt to strike you. This will be at disadvantage. Uh, just making sure these are all good. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, here we go. Oh, A critical miss, uh, granting you inspiration. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So yeah, you're able to like just dodge right out of the way. Opie. Uh, Sarah the Bold, grab me rage. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you have been given rage. That was your bonus action. Twenty. Um. I have to go around these, right? Uh, uh, Correct. Yeah. And then 20 again. That works. Oh, actually. I have a smart play. Okay. Does this work? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, <laughs> we up. And then. Uh, I have to use a bonus action to uh, set up my spear, correct? That's how it works. Oh, the to take the um, your form, your spiritual bond form. Or spiritual bond. There you go. Yes, that would be a bonus action, which you've already used on your rage this turn. Okay, that's fine. So, which one is my normal attack then? Oh, uh, it's just gonna be your spear. Oh, plus one relic spear. Yep. And then, wh which would I press when I do set it up for the, with the, for the toxic and the death? Uh, that will be in your features um, when you features? do take those forms. Yep, you'll see the spore damage uh, for the, the the deadly stats. Uh, we, you'll just attack with your relic spear normally. Uh, so once you're in your your, okay. your stances, uh, you're gonna use your relic spear, uh, and then you'll do the, if you hit you'll, if you're doing the spore version, you'll you take just you'll just click the extra spores damage, and it'll roll that as well. Um, for deadly, we just take whatever the highest amount is, and that's what. That'll be, and then I'll take care okay. of that. Okay, got it. Here we go. Yeti, yeti, yeti. You missed. Shitty. <laughs> Good thing you have extra attack now that you're a little five. Uh, now that I'm what? Now that you're little you're five. You have multi-attack. You have extra attack. When you take the attack up action, you can attack again. Oh. Yeti, yeti, yeti. Well, like the biggest thing. part about being level five. Yep. Uh, it will sort of deflect off of its carapace. I'm not used to the level five. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm Dunny. Okay. Be sure to hit enter in combat track. Enter in combat track. In the upper right corner, the cross swords is the combat track. If you click that, uh, it'll pop out the box and you can hit enter. I pressed enter. You hit enter. I mean, end turn. End oh, turn. Enter. Oh, shit. I <laughs> there you, said you go. Oh, it's funny. No, that's, that's good. I was confused. I was no, like, no, it's all good. Enter. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> as a legendary action, uh, you'll watch as the ink egg, not done uh, with Remo, uh, will oh, no. raise one of its hooked legs and stab stab it down over you. Is Again, it still at disadvantage? It is still at disadvantage. Sick. 14. Yep, missed. Okay. Tantu. Yes. Um, is am I like alone in my thoughts here after this transformation? 
Is this, it feels was there like no a, context? It just happened? It, it, so, yeah, you just kind of, like, black out a little bit as you saw what you saw. And now everything appears to be in a haze, almost as if you're some kind of dream. You're really uncertain as to what to make of it. But this sort of despair falls over you. Yeah, I think he would, like, stumble back a bit, and he's, like, looking at his hands and his body, and he doesn't quite know what to make of it. Um, and he just wouldn't be focused on what's happening at all. Okay. At least this turn. Okay. Uh, if, um, that, if that is what you'd like your Yeah, and he's, like, looking down at Olive and QB, and he's just confused. Olive and QB, what's your response as you kind of look over at this shadowy Tantu? I think concerned. Like, I think QB would probably be like, like Tantu, what happened to you? I think he had too many cookies. Oh, I guess cookies can do weird things to you. <laughs> we clearly don't know what's going on. No. <laughs> um, we don't know so how the world works. If I tried to speak, would would I be able to make noise? Make, uh, uh, it would. Oh my god! So if you kill me, would Edward. you like? So would you attempt to speak? Yeah, I think he would. Okay. What would you, you say? try and say? You try and say olive. So. Oh my god. As you attempt to say Olive, Olive, you'll watch as the shadowy Tantu turns over. And you just hear. Oh no. As it, this guttural sound Donald Duck? comes out. Is that the sound of him crying? It's just, just, he's trying to say Olive. It's just a guttural sound. Oh. It's a yeah, fiendish creature. Uh. Tantu? You re and you actually can feel it, Tantu, like, as you try to come out and hear the sound that comes out of you, and it is sort of this horrifying... Yeah. He would, like, color his mouth after oh. trying to speak. Oh, no! No! Do I understand all of, say, Tantu, though? Yes. You understand okay. what they're saying. But again, it's, a, it's a very much a haze. Mm. Okay, yeah, I think he, he would be lost. He to, like, wave at him to see if he responds. He would be lost in it this turn, I think, in the haze. All right. Oh. Go ahead and hit end turn. All um, right. Combat track. Wait. So I click this little swords and then what? Oh, end turn. Here we go. All right. So, QB, before your turn, at the end of Taunt's turn, it's a legendary action. You'll see the ank hag, like, trying to stab down over at, uh, over at Remo, missing. With its left, with its left, like spiked like pincer, and it turns its head over, seeing, uh, seeing Kopi's approach, and it will just stab with its right. Uh, it reaches over and tss, uh, critical hit. Oh shit! So this is where I reveal this. Instead of dealing uh, bonus damage from critical hits, Flathead Enkhead gains one acid bath charge. At five charges, uh, Flathead Ankeg is able to use Critical Break Acid Bath. You will notice that there is a little bar that is filled up on the top of the creature now. Mm. So this will deal nine points of damage and not the critical damage. You are raging. That will be uh, that that will be rounded down to four points of damage. All right, <laughs> Yubi. Two. Uh, use my short bow and aim. Oh, uh, that will miss. Uh, as you shoot the arrow over, it just easily bounces off of its it, uh, off of its that thick cranium skull. Um, as it's just kind of its pincers will will will, will chitter in excitement uh, as it has gained an inspiration from your folly. Oh. Uh. I will turn. Oh, you end the turn. Okay. Uh next up is Howie. Howie, you're currently flying over this creature's head. Hmm. Um so I'm fifteen feet up. Um ah, fuck. So its <laughs> head is roughly ten feet in the in the air, yeah? You, yeah, you are currently five feet away from this creature. Okay. Um, and Remo's had his turn, so he can't really do anything. He can only talk, which, uh, okay. 
My um, turn's after yours. What? It's right after mine. Uh, mine is directly after yours. Okay, so Howie's going to quickly fly. Uh, so start like he's gonna look down at Remo and he's gonna say, "Remo, close your eyes." Um, and I'm what? gonna hold. Uh, close your damn eyes right that now! That sounds like a stupid thing to do in a fight, but okay. Just do it! Alright, and then how he's gonna fly down in front of its face and activate uh, pyrotechnics. Okay. Um, and at second level. Uh, I don't. I can't even click it to like cast it or anything. It's not got a uh, cast. In your spells? If you Is it not like a combat ability or? Yeah, no, it's if it's you, not. So if you mouse over spells in the hotbar, yes, you will see pyrotechnics at level two, and then you. Oh, I'm in my my, my my sheet. Sorry. Your, um, your sheet? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, hold it's on. It's on his character sheet. Yeah, I, I, I'm on my character sheet. I usually yeah, use spells through that. That's, that's All right, it. my bad. That that's much better. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so I'm holding that as an action, though, just to be clear, uh, so you don't do anything yet, uh, to go off when Remo's closed his eyes uh, at the end of his turn. Okay. And I'm going to, like, just fly down in front of its eyes to, to light off fireworks directly in front of it. Okay. And then I click this button. Remo. So, can I open them? What'd you say? Can I open them? Can I open them? No, you better just punch and then be quick about it because I'm about to blow up. I don't remember where he was. Just swing, right. he's right in front of you. <laughs> I throw um a critical or uh, an ad advantage on arm strike with the um inspiration. Okay. Are you How do I do that? Is that shift click or something? Are, yeah, are you doing it with your eyes closed or open? I suppose <laughs> you can, so. Is you it can, just equalized? Yeah, if you're doing it with if you're if if Remo's punch with his eyes closed, you're spending your inspiration. It's just gonna be a normal attack. Okay, I'll do one normal punch <laughs> using the inspiration. Okay, I like that. Uh, that'll miss. Okay, so <laughs> at that point, I'm gonna open my eyes, and then I'm going to. Oh shoot! He was a bit further back. <laughs> I'm going to. 5, 10, 15, 20. I don't provoke up because I'm mobile. Correct. And then I'm going to 5, 10, 15, 20. Back at him for my free punch once again. Uh, the 15 will hit, dealing 11 points of damage. As a reaction, you'll see as you go for the punch, it goes <laughs> as its body just kind of falls down and it uses its shield. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun mechanic. So oh. <laughs> its shield is blocking in that direction. Uh, anything in that area of effect uh, will follow the the, fo the following things. Uh, it gains plus four AC against all melee and range attacks in the area of effect. It gains resistance to all damage sources from melee and range attacks from creatures in the area of effect, and it cannot be targeted. Uh, or be a target of an area of effect by any source beyond 60 feet unless the creature is level 10, CR 10, or the damage source deals over 125 <laughs> hit points of damage. Oh my it's god. Not, that's, its, none of those are us. It's, yeah, it's using its shield to block you. And that's while you are in this area. That's the effect it has. It's Excuse me, DM, there appears to be a bug with its HP bar. Uh, it didn't move. It moved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, so it's heads down as like a shield. Yep. Pointing Question. in this cone. Brett, Brett, did that take me with it? What? That, I was in front of it. Head face. That, as, as, well, it, no, it didn't. It, it just it, like scoop me into the ground now. No, no, no. So you're flying right in front of its face, and then it gets punched, and the first thing it does is use its reaction to drop its head down. So now it's like its head is slammed. It didn't take you with it. Okay. All right. Um, is this spot? Outside of the cone. As long as it's not in a red square, it is outside. It's, it gets, oh, it's Benji's flashbang circle. Yeah. I see. Yeah. All right. Uh, so then I will slide bang. 10 feet over here. And then I'm going to flurry of blows. Uh, two more punches. Which I have. I'm noticing on my inventory, I've got an unarmed strike and a plus unarmed strike. That, uh, the plus unarmed strike is your bonus action. 
If it has a plus, that means it's a bonus action. Gotcha. I see. Okay, so if I click Flurry of Blows, it should just do it. Correct. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, you hit, uh, dealing six points of damage. You kind of right, like get around the shield one. and start to... Uh, eight points of damage. I'm noticing that the Flurry of Blows, if I click it there, it does deduct my key correctly, but it doesn't right. roll That's the correct number of punches. That's why I gave you the bonus unarmed strike for you to use instead, gotcha. of, instead of that. All right. Well, uh, that is my turn and turn. Okay. Uh, okay. So it, it, it should... So I'm in front of its face. You are in front of a shield, correct. I'm in front of a shield. Okay. Well, I didn't go with it. I can choose not to, to, but it would still use the spell slot, right? If you if you choose not to cast a spell, it will not use the spell slot. Okay, yeah. I, I don't imagine the fireworks is going to do much to that shield. Um, I, I don't know if that, that... Sorry, Brett, can you confirm that? Because the conditions are about it being 60 mm -hmm. feet away. So since you have asked the question, I can answer it for yeah. you. As you're looking yes, straight please. forward, uh, his head is currently blocked by the shield. That's, uh, that's okay. ahead of him. Right, that's that, that makes intuitive sense. All right, I, how we would see that and go, ah, puppycock, and then, you know, fizzle the, the firework. Okay. Uh, okie dokie, Olive. Sacred Flame, let's go, come let's... on. All right. Uh, Sacred it, Flame. It fails, Woo! taking nine points of damage. Right, and everyone's going to healing right now, so I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of the turn, you will watch as the Ankeg stands back up, its shield no longer blocking as it looks around to see those that have struck. Uh, it will. You are no longer dodging. Yeah. Oh, let me remove that for you. Uh, it's going to turn over to you and once again try and, and bite you. 19 to break your armor class. Uh, yep. Okay. So, uh, the following will happen. The, let me go and roll the, the damage. Uh, you're going to go and take 11 points of, uh, of bludgeoning damage as this heavy thing. And you begin to feel a toxin spread for you. Uh-oh. And I'm going to real quick. Uh, I'm going to, as a reaction, use, um, combat recovery. So. All right, one second. All right, you have a bullet bite wound has been applied to you. Uh, you're going to heal for six points of damage. Mm -hmm. All right, and now you have a bullet bite wound. Okay. What's a bullet bite wound? Well, in the, I'll find out. Yep. No, well, in the chat, it tells you. On hat, on hit, not hat, on hit, deals damage <laughs> normally and inflicts with a bullet toxin. Uh, at the start of the next round, the targeted creature will be dealt 5d12 poison damage. I'm sorry, what? The bullet bite <laughs> condition is then removed. Flathead and head gains oh. one acid. Charge. I'm sorry, huh? If the oh, target no. creature is healed for one hit point, the bullet bite condition is removed. Because of your oh. combat recovery, it immediately oh, my, away from my you. fucking well, that's heart, nice. dude. I was like doing the math, looking at my health. I'm, I got 40 health. Like, uh, uh, it seems to have a very deadly toxin with its bite. We're in trouble. Maybe. I can deal with that. That's that's we might be okay. Yeah. I can handle it. We got a lot of healing. All right, that's the end of its turn. Opie. Oh my god! I nearly asked where Tonto is. <laughs> I haven't seen uh, him all day. Where's that guy? Where's that little guy? Where's that little Near the guy? boat. Grant me spiritual bone, deadly style. Wah! No cat. Thanks for the rape, bud. I'm uh, starting to think she's improving. <laughs> uh, which which uh, which style are you doing? Deadly style. All right. Deadly style. <laughs> yeah. You'll watch as a crimson red soaks over your spear. Um. Also, what's the attack range on this guy? Uh. Well, mm. everything you've seen so far was in a five foot range. However, when he reached out with the hook leg, uh, he was able to reach you at 10 feet. Oh, so he can reach me. Fuck. Mm hmm. Is a 10 foot stanky leg. 
Well then, I'm just gonna have to move in because... I guess there's no point. Fact. Okay. Um... What is the maximum damage on my relic spear again? Was it 16? Uh, I right, once you roll it, I'll give you a, I'll give you the number. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here we go then. Yaddy yaddy yaddy. Uh, 15 will hit. Let me check the damage. 1d10. One. Oh, actually, you rolled max damage already. <laughs> Lol. Uh, oh. That'll be 13 points of damage. Wasn't it like higher before? Am I remembering? I wrong? also think it was higher before. You strength. What about your? Is your rage added? Oh, yeah. I'm raged right now. Oh, one. Uh, like, I remember it was like 16, I think. Moment, please. And I will see what's going on. All right. So apparently, let's see. Your mod should be strength. So you have a 14 strength. So that's plus what? two. You have uh, a plus one, three. And then the rage that adds to it. So it'll actually be a 15 now that you're raged. Oh, 15. Okay. It's just yeah. not included in the Relic Spear calculation. That's okay, because okay, cool. I can just do this. Uh, one moment. Just... Oh, I know. Here, I'll do this for you. This will be a lot easier. Does anyone else routinely hit as hard as Kopi? What <laughs> Uh, Shane's pretty nasty. Wait, what? Oh, no, no. I mean, for our party, because you said vulnerability stacks, and I feel like Kopi's got a consistent high singular well, instance it's of damage. always the max damage. I That's what like I mean. Any, right? I don't think so, anyone has consistent high damage like that. Yeah. All right. Because so, yeah, you want to use that, I think. Nice. So, Thank you. I yeah, see Kopi. It. Yeah, perfect. And that'll count. Okay, cool. Down. One more time. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. As the spirits will begin to Fuck dance yeah. around so another 15 points of damage uh as a reaction by the way and i didn't announce this before so you'll do the 15, full 15 will go go on ahead uh you will watch as the shield will drop it in front of you well, i'm already done <laughs> yep because i didn't say anything before so Stupid bug. Tantu. Tantu. You're muted, so. Oh, I'm sorry. How high is this, like, dune in front of the enemy? 15 foot up? Uh, so each step is a five foot uh, increment. Okay. Can I see him but on the other side of it, or is he hidden from me? Uh, He'll right now hidden, he right? would be hidden. Yes, right now you'd be hidden. Okay. Um, and if I look that way, would would it, like is um? I, actually, hold on. I can I can. Give you I'm just trying to figure out like would Tonti be aware of the danger that's happening in this haze he's in? Okay. If you uh, can't see um, any um, of the fight. No, I'm I'm currently. Let's see. Oh, so, I'd make that, and then we look at this. Uh, actually, yeah, from where you're at, you cannot see uh, him at all. You hear the clashing of battles from behind the uh, the hill. But that's about it. <clears throat> um, okay. Whoa. Yeah, He's just I, setting up a uh, boundary. Yeah, I was, just I, setting, I was setting up a wall to see what Tantu would or wouldn't see. Yeah. Hmm. I, I have a few questions about this form, but yes. we, can, we can also, like, go over it later. But So I lose... My attack and extra attack, and it's replaced by the multi attack. Correct. Okay. But multi attack doesn't trigger extra attack, so I just get multi attack. Correct. So instead okay. of getting extra attack, uh, where you can attack with the, your your mace twice, uh, you use your multi attack, which allows you to use your claws twice. Or right. okay. you can replace one of your claws with a bite. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, like, I don't know. I don't know what he would do. I think he would, like, turn towards the, the fighting and maybe, like, start kind of, like, hazily walking towards the noise. What does he, what does Probably. he look like when he's walking? Um, yeah, it's just, like, it's, I mean, I'm going, I'm going to go half movement because it's literally just, like, he feels like he's dreaming. Like, he's not. Okay. Here or in a fight. Okay. 
Uh, you all um, hear the heavy footsteps of Tantu as he walks over into the sound of the fight. Can I can I see Howie? Uh, yeah, you'd be able to see Howie. Howie's 15 feet above, so he's slightly over the hill. Okay. Yeah, I think he would just, like, start approaching Howie. Howie, you watch as this giant Tantu begins its approach to you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Howie didn't really notice what happened with Tontu originally, so he's just turning and then he's like, Is Tontu okay? Um, you don't know yet. He's a little bigger than usual. <laughs> Tontu will attempt to like answer you. It says, I don't know, but it just comes out like a, a garbled roar. I mean, you, uh, hey, roll. You hear, I don't know. Oh. Oh, my. Well, puberty hits us all at different times, but we can talk about that later, Tonto. For now, we need your help in a fight. He, he looks around. what you said. You can't see a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but he nods. That's my turn. All right, go ahead and end turn. Uh, at the end of Tantu's turn, uh, you will watch as, and this will provoke uh, opportunity attacks, by the way. Uh, you will watch as the head lifts up and he burrows underneath the earth. What? You, you hear the dirt churning. This provokes um, opportunity of attacks for those that have their reaction. Yeah, I use my reaction. Um, so. Wait. Ooh, this is perfect. Uh, I'm going to actually use uh, a reaction of Sentinel so Ooh. that he can't move. Okay. Go for the strike. Uh, I still have deadly, so... Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So as he attempts to, to burrow underneath the earth, uh, you go for your sentinel attack. Uh, you successfully strike the creature, uh, and it stops him from burrowing. And he turns over to you. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. 15 points of damage is dealt uh, over to this creature. And then... Um, Wait, is that how sentinel works? Yeah, yeah, I can make it. I can. Well, make it makes it, them uh, movement zero, right? Yep. I made their movement zero. Yeah. Okay. So provided he was trying to use his movement to move, then yeah, that's yeah. Correct. Right. Well, I mean, obviously he was gonna go somewhere else on the map. I didn't want him to do that. Yeah, you you halt. No, I, I know. Sorry, I was I was just trying to get across that if they use an ability to move, they can still move, right? That's as long as it's oh. not using the actual movement. If but it's, no, if it's, if it's for know. if it's forced movement. That's yeah. up to D and D or D DM. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. So as I have stated, he strikes in with the spear, and it's it, it halts him from burrowing any, any further. A oh, nice one. Cool. That's a good move. This guy's doomed. He can't run. Wait, Remo, did you do yours? I don't have a reaction. Spend his reaction on combat recovery. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, QB. And QB, I'm afraid now that I know this, uh, you can't actually shoot. Um, just so you're aware, I mean, you haven't attempted to attack yet, um, but you will be unable to hit it since it's currently behind the hill. You'll have to move. Also, checking if Laura is muted. Laura, you're muted, by the way, just FYI. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, okay. Um, so I would have to be here to be able to hit him. Is that right? Like all the way up to this pink point? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so I think I can move 40 feet now, right? Because of mobile. Is I'm sorry? That... Oh, I, I can move 40 feet now because of mobile. Is that right? Correct. Okay. I'll move uh, here then. And then 
Uh, I will. So it, it's safe for me to shoot, right? It's not that thing where it's like only one person should shoot and do the most damage. Uh, that's only if it's paralyzed. Okay. Okay. Um, in that case, I will attempt to sh- shoot better. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then I will do sneak attack. Uh, let's see here real quick. Uh, the 25 hits. The 10 will strike true. Uh, minus 10, and you will deal the sneak attack. Okay. And then I will attempt to, to hide a, a bonus action. Okay. Go ahead and use your stealth check. Okay. <laughs> All right. You attempt to hide. Okay. Um, and I think that's my turn. I'm just trying to figure out if I moved. Okay. Um, that's my turn. Okay. As a legendary uh, action, please. Uh, you'll see it turn over as it's. You'll hear the chittering of its uh, of its pincers, as it'll then spit out uh, towards the area where the arrow is shot. Um, this ball of acid, which will just please make a dexterity saving throw, QB. Dexterity. By selecting oh, your token, oh. you can go ahead and click the dexterity save versus DC 14. Oh damn! Text. Uh, you have succeeded. Uh, because of your critical, uh, it, because of your critical hit. You've managed to successfully uh, dodge it without taking any damage, and you gain an inspiration. Thank you. I miss those rogue uh, dodges. Yeah, it's just so <laughs> Yo, bingo users, there's your nat 20 and nat 1s. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get out of day. my sight. <laughs> uh, Howie. <laughs> Um, all right. Howie's going to flap over to Tontu and say, Are, are you all right, lad? You, you can't... Because I, I saw him, like, looking around, not able to see the enemy, right? Um, it, or at least that's what it appeared like to me. Um, and he'll say, uh, Here, I, I've been tinkering on something that might help you uh, uh, get in, in, in a light of sight. And then he's going to click on a little, like, sphere and huck it. He says... Um, just go along with this, lad. It, it's going to be fine. He's going to click a little sphere, and it's going to, like, I don't know, attach to Tontu. Um, just a light little little pinch. Very light little pinch. Um, and I'm going to cast Enlarge Reduce um, with that. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> and I'm going to enlarge Tontu by doubling his size in all dimensions and increasing his weight by eight times. Uh, so Tantu will turn into this. That's if he's willing, just... otherwise you have to do a constitution save. Tantu, are you willing? Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. Okay. As the elders Tantu, you will see this massive rackling just... <laughs> just grow in its size. Uh, how he will say, oh wow, that worked better than I expected. Uh, there he is. And he's going to point at the the creature and uh i will flap over there i will turn around and i'll end my turn okay uh so at the end of howie's round you will watch as flathead inkhead will turn over to kopi and go in with a bullet bite uh using their inspiration gain to make this attack at advantage fuck 19, which breaks your armor class, uh, you will take five points of bludgeoning damage and gain of the bullet bite. Uh, so the bullet bite's effects will go uh, at a full round after, meaning at the end of Howie's turn, the bullet bite effect goes off. Remo, it's your turn. So, right. basically, um, so basically, we have to. Get, I have to get it removed. Yeah, but someone needs to heal you before Howie's yeah. turn. 
Um, I will do a punch. Uh, that will miss. Okay. It bounces off against the carapace. Then I will... 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Free punch. Uh, that'll hit. 11 points of damage. Uh, and then I will... Let's see. That's the movement punch. This is the extra attack from level 15. And this is the bonus action punch. God damn it. Damn. Okay, so 11, 11. Yeah, they'll, 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 uh, they'll both miss. <sighs> Fucking bad day to be monk. Okay, I'll... All right, I just need to heal Kopi at all. Just for... any amount. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll do that then. Uh, you like just cantrip just, bullshit. Just, uh, just FYI, I'm going to go ahead and set up the... Uh... The, the line wall, of sight rock line of sight rock yeah okay oh so she can see me yeah i can see Let's see how far away yep. are you yes you can oh, okay cool um okay i will do healing word on kofi uh that will heal for five hit points Okay. For a second, like you know, Tatu was gone from the the shadow, and then all of a sudden, it, like you made it just disappear out of this huge corner, ass yeah. fucking <laughs> mountain of a. Yeah. Here's the Tantu's here's like the funny a thing. Kaiju, dude. Yeah, yeah. Tatu Tatu's bigger than the hills, so you can still see the head of Tatu like Wait, peeking oh, over this see. giant oh, hill. What? Yeah. Tatu, what happened to you? What? <laughs> <laughs> He'll like look over the yeah. hill. Down. It's like oh colossal titan over the yeah. wall. Yeah. And on that day, we received a grave reminder. <laughs> yeah. Um, since, that, since that's my bonus action, can I do Sacred Flame as my action? Uh, let me get the wall up. So I know I allowed the Sacred Flame before. I can move. Yeah. Mm. You want? Okay. Is healing what a cantrip? Oops. Uh, it's, it's a, a bonus, bonus action. action. It's a bonus action spell. And Wait, Sacred Flame is a cantrip. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello. Here it comes. Uh, let's see what we got. We're gonna attempt to dodge. And successfully does so. Tits. And turn. It's remarkably dexterous for a giant creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And go ahead and end turn in the combat tracker. Oh, yes. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. Boop. It's easily forgotten of the new thing, so <laughs> it won't be the last time. Uh, yeah, so the ink egg is going to... That's not working. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll off of a coin. One is Remo. Two is... Actually, no. Uh, Kopi, you hit successfully, correct? With your spear. Yep, yoga disadvantage. Oh, then <laughs> that makes my choice a lot easier. Uh, that... Oh, again? Yep. Uh, well, actually, you might. Uh, yeah, well, there it is. Yeah. Uh, so Holy shit. it's going to go ahead and deal eight points of damage to you uh, and gain another acid what charge. What the fuck? And it's going Jesus. to attack uh, with the other leg. Uh, that will miss. Oh, wait. Wait, did you apply the damage? I did. So oh, you're uh, raging, as, so you took half. You take half. And oh, as to, and it, also I healed. Like it, it just, it just seemed like I didn't move that much, but it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Also, to repeat the mechanic, uh, instead of dealing bonus damage from the critical hits, uh, the flathead ink head instead gains one acid charge. Ah, the acid charge. Okay. There you go. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, hi. Uh, Hello. <clears throat> Well, I mean, you seem like a poisonous monster, so I feel like to using toxic style would probably be a bad idea anyway. I'm just yeah, it might work, but style. it might just be resistant or whatever. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I, I, I'm I, just a unga bunga attack. Uh, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy! Uh, that will hit 15 points of damage dealt. And guess what? Guess what? I'm, I, I'm waiting. You've got an extra attack. You attack again. Oh, yeah. no, I thought you were going to do the thing, but... Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy! No, it was a good guess what. Uh, that'll miss. Hmm. No, you did the thing, Alex. <laughs> I thought he was going to do the shield thing. I don't know. You did the thing. 
You have the power. Um. Oh, no. Okay. Um. And then. Uh. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Tantu, who are now large and in charge. What's my like attack range here, Brett? Uh. Ten feet. <laughs> at this size. Let me go ahead and, and double check. Uh, I do not believe a large creature increases your range, but I will double check. Uh, room to double the size. I mean, large, for example, if there isn't enough room for the target double size, the creature of both moons will spill in. Star gains and just big checks, takes with those. Target's weapons also grow to match its new size. Uh, while these weapons are enlarged, the target's attacks will deal an extra one. Um. I'll say I'll I'll say that you can your your reach is now ten feet. Okay, Tonto will. Uh, I'm told this thing, but I assume I'll I'll begin to climb over it. Yep, and it's not hindering terrain because yeah. you're bigger than it. And he feels an overwhelming sense of grief, and he he's gonna channel it towards this creature. Uh, I will claw attack him. I'll like swipe down. Okay. Uh, almost like a, a cat batting a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'll do the the claw is it claw attack? Yeah. Yep. Uh that'll hit uh for 15 points of damage. Okay, and then again. Uh <laughs> that will hit for <laughs> another 15 points of damage. As you as you're just <laughs> just breaking this creature down. Uh, you will watch as it buckles for a moment, and it falls over in a vulnerable state. So oh, the creature has falled uh, and has become paralyzed. Uh, oh. In addition to this, it is vulnerable to all damage sources. Wait, I did that? Or you yep. just yeah. you just hit a threshold? You made this? <laughs> I did this? I can't I can't tell you the, the condition, <laughs> sadly. Uh, you My did the special thing because you're so big maybe i don't know i don't know man but he hey he's down i'm happy for you regardless we want like yeah. a big single instance of damage is the idea here i think it does not look like this creature will remain paralyzed forever mm. no uh so tantu if your turn is over make sure oh yeah enter. and turn that's my turn how he just observes tantu with like mr burnsing with his hands he's like yes <laughs> Go, oh, my kaiju, go. My dog of war. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so I, I was wondering if I should wait. Um, the other, like, or if, since Brett says he doesn't stay down for long, I could also try to use my inspiration and do, like, chromatic orb or something. Hmm, interesting. Idea. Oh, you also do hit pretty hard, though, Q uh, QB. That's true. With a sneak attack. Mm. I guess sneak um, attack's the yeah. second instance of damage, but you still do hit really hard, so yeah. Ugh. Ugh. So I'll do what you guys want, like if, if you prefer me to take a chance and wait until it's Kobe's turn, or? Well, Kobe's so far away, right? That's true. I, I feel like you, personally, it's gonna I feel get like up you by should then. shoot. Yeah. Okay. I think you should okay. take a shot. Um, I'll use my inspiration, um, okay. and so that's, do I just press control or shift? So just FYI, just so you are aware, uh, um, any attack roll made against a paralyzed creature, you'll actually see it in the chat box, um, is already oh. made at advantage. So using an inspiration will not grant you double, a double advantage. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so... Do I just press it twice then, or just hold shift? Uh, you'll shift click. Shift click, okay. All right, 21. Uh, that will hit. Five points will turn into 10, and you can apply sneak attack. Hmm. 10 points turns to 20, so for a total of 30 points of damage. Nice. As the arrow strikes oh, through as a legendary reaction, during oh, Kiwi's oh. turn, you will watch as the creature stands back up. Um, and as it does, you will see oozing from its mouth, from its from the from the chitinous bite that it has, this acid that is just 
filling and swelling up within the body of this creature as it will then just <laughs> and just stab into the ground. The creature almost appears to be bloated in acid. And as its bloat begins to shrink, you come to a horrible realization as parts of the arena begin to fill with acid. So, these acid walls will, will appear over here and just start to fill up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll a 2d6. No save is made. Uh, Remo's gonna go ahead and take nine points of acid damage. Yeah. Uh, Kopi's gonna take nine points of acid damage. And Ala is going to take nine points of acid damage. Oh, and no. Tantu is gonna take nine points of acid damage. Uh, <laughs> this is an effect that will persist. Does so Tantu you, even have a health bar? <laughs> if you, uh, if, if you enter the area. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if you enter the area or end your turn in this area, you just instantly take 2d6 acid damage. Oh, Is it the floor? Yep, it's just... Just the floor, like not like above it, like how he could fly over, for example? Oh yeah, how he can absolutely fly over this. Okay. Woohoo! Um, what about that rock thing? Like, if we stand on the so, rock somehow? So as the acid just surges up from the ground, you'll just see... And Itantu kind of stumbles a little bit as that hill just kind of just breaks down underneath your foot. That hill no longer exists. Oh, damn. Um, and same for this hill. A strong concoction. Oh, scary. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to move. And as the arena just sort of just fills up, uh, you'll just start to hear just this loud cheering from everyone as everything is just surging and flooding over. Aren't they cheering against us? They're cheering for the fight in general. It's all huh. entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I think um, for Uncanny Dodge, if I use a bonus action now, then can I still respond with Uncanny Dodge? I've never used it before. Oh, all good. Uh, I will go ahead and, and link Uncanny Dodge so you see exactly what it does. As a reaction, uh, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the damage. Okay, so if I use a bonus action now to hide, then can I not do it? If you uh, it is me? it is a reaction. So yes, okay. you, can still, you can still do it. Yeah, okay. react, you get action, bonus action, and movement, and then also a reaction each turn. For example, opportunity attacks that you'll take sometimes, that spends your reaction. Oh, I see. That's, you, you know, you know, I know we've had this conversation before. You know on magic, when you're like, I, I, I as in response, that's reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. okay. In that case, I'll attempt to hide. Okay, go ahead and make a hide check. Or self check rather. All right, and you hide within the uh, the arena. I love the fact that this entire campaign has taken place in heavy overcast, foggy areas, and just general mist. Is yeah. It? yeah. Like cloudy. Yeah, we we need a sunny field about now. I think. Uh -huh. It's been so long since we've seen the light. We need a vacation. Uh, Howie, it is now your turn. Um, man, I'm spending spell slots. Uh, I'm going to attempt to cast. There's uh, what I blah, 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 blah. Oh, interesting. So, do I not get to? Ch okay, uh, I will cast Fairy Fire at first level. Um, can I cast Fairy Fire in a way that it's up like here, but raised up? in the air enough so it's clipping the creature and not my friends or not like Remo. in the air uh let me see yeah in a 20 foot cube within range it's outlined in a blue green or violet area uh so you're just yeah you're just choosing where you would like to put the cube yeah i'm like trying to clip the, the um, top of the I'll top half of the creature i'll say you could do it uh higher up if you wish now here's the problem 
you Should start to hit uh, people in the uh, in the rafters, and that's how, that's not good. That's not good. How high is the rafter? I'd say twenty feet. Twenty feet. And I, I'm you raising. Like yeah, that's. Here. Yeah. Was, well, that's gonna get. That's gonna get me. <laughs> up in the, <laughs> oh, you're me. you're up in there. Okay. Yeah. I could. I'm gonna flap over around Kaiju Tontu. <laughs> um. And then I'm gonna cast it so it's up up here a little bit. Okay. Um, and yeah, so it doesn't clip onto, and it is up in the air. Um, can I replace it? Uh, I oh, got it. Go. We're good. Oh, thank you. Uh, failure. Uh, critical failure. You are ah, granted an nice. inspiration. Nice. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. And, and uh, so uh, now... fairy fire is placed upon the creature. Yay! Sweet. So I we should have advantage rolls. on him now. Um, and that's my my turn. Let me click end. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn is a legendary action. You'll watch as the powerful ink egg turns over the kaiju onto and just with without mercy just <laughs> and it just goes in with a bullet bite upon Tonto. So, uh, this will be a normal attack. Twenty to hit. Uh, isn't it? Isn't it disadvantage? You you hit, didn't you? I'm so sorry. There's so many things to keep track of. I fuck There's up all lot. the time. I apologize. No, I mean that's this will be okay. a disadvantage. To, to some level, we do have to keep track of our own effects on enemies because it's just so much. No, I understand. Yeah. Uh, the same roll was given, uh, so it will still be a twenty. Uh, that will hit Tantu. Uh, Tantu, you're gonna take all the points of uh, damage, and the bullet bite will strike at you as to a toxin begins to flow through your body. Dude, him turning his character is scary as fuck. I accidentally, <laughs> my, my key, my fingers actually hit <laughs> oh. the F key. He's dancing. That's not me, that's not me, dude, it's not its own. <laughs> okay, Rebo, it's your turn. Okay, um, so if I leave the acid, it's fine, as long as I don't go back in. If you end your turn or enter the acid for the first time this round. Okay, got it. For the first time, um, you take the damage. All right. I'm go <laughs> but, okay, question. If I, like, run all the way back up here and all the way back down, is that not a reapplication of acid? acid? That is not a reapplication. That's correct. Okay, sick. All right, I'm going to throw one punch. Uh, this guy loves the acid. Strikes true. Ten points. Now I'm gonna do the twenty feet shuffle. I'm not gonna do it again, but you know it's there. Free punch. Oh. Uh, that'll hit eleven points of damage. All right, level oh. five attack. Oh. Points of and flurry of blows punches. Miss. Hit. Oh. Critical hit. Fifteen points of damage. Who would you like to grant inspiration to? Uh, Kopi. Kopi. Nice. Thanks, Remo. And then I will do do uh, too far there. Uh, and and turn. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and speed. Uh, all right. Uh, I also checked uh, your flurry of blows to see if it did hit because of the fairy fire. Uh, it still misses. Of course. <laughs> it's rough. Olive. Okay. Take a flame. Make it happen. Let's do this. More like sacred nice. game. Oh. Sacred flame. Got him. Seven points of damage. And then I'm gonna heal Kopi of casting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, up. Oh. The points yield to Kobe. I was going to say you should. Oh, what's up? On Tantu because he has the, the, the t toxic thing. Oh, shit. Oh. Can I pivot it? It's okay. We nope. could. We could. Okay. We could put, uh, <laughs> do we have any potions? I move out. <laughs> nope. I didn't realize Tantu had the toxic thing. Sorry. It's all good. Now he's oh, going to die. My fault. <laughs> no, it's fine. Level five, I'm merciless. Wait, so if if I don't use some sort of potion, then Tantu's gonna take that toxic hit? 
at the end of Howie's turn, uh, if no healing has been done to Tantu, uh, uh, five oh, to twelve it's damage. I, c I can Howie. take care of it. It's fine. Oh, okay. Thanks, Howie. Thank you. All right. Uh, the ink egg will turn over to uh, Tarkopi and will strike twice with the hook leg. Let's fucking go. Uh, 17, your AC is 16, so that'll hit. Four points of damage. And another strike with the hook. That'll be a critical miss. Oof. Uh, you already have inspiration, so nothing will be affected there. Uh, copy. Okay, um, I just want to uh, make this clear. So this whole like mound is gone, it's gone. like completely gone. You can completely so walk I can just that. I can just walk here, right? Uh, correct. Okay, cool. Um, well, <laughs> uh, once again, I just have unga bunga, so let's go. Uh, hmm. You're not paralyzed anymore. Oh, okay, so you're not. Okay. Okay, uh, here we go. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Also remember, because of the fairy fire, your attack is made at advantage. Oh. This will be um, the last time I remind you. <laughs> what do I press? I press the plus? Oh, I, 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 Yeah, I pressed it. He 17 it. Okay. will strike true for 15 points of damage, and then you will watch as he sort of slams his head down uh over okay to you. and then because i'm mobile i don't uh get attack of opportunity or he doesn't get attack up opportunity for mm -hmm. me right so well he's also I'm gonna, he's reaction. also reacting with but shield correct, but yeah but correct because sometimes the enemies have oh. multiple reactions I'm, yeah i don't i don't know what he can do that's yeah, you're right. move. be paranoid so, <laughs> i'm gonna move here okay and then you think you can do that? Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy! Can't be a dick. Your strike oh, no, it's good. And it's you embarrassing. Strike, uh, you miss, but yeah, you strike. It, it's on behind his shield that he slammed down. Um, well. I'm a failure. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you'll watch as its head lifts up, and as a. I think we only did one legendary action so far. Yep. Uh, it's going to and just oh yes I need Tantu uh, I need Topi and I need Remo to make dexterity saving throws please ooh perfect that's uh... disgusting <laughs> uh, Tantu is good Tantu will take uh, seven. Uh, actually, no. Because of your Eldritch Evasion, Tantu takes no damage. Damn. I also need Kopi and Reno to take some scary saving throws, please. I have a feeling I'm cursed, so I'm going to Inspiration this. I can Inspiration the deck save, right? Yes, you can. As long as you haven't made the roll yet. I, oh, oh what and did it I saved say? your ass, dude. What did I say? <laughs> very good. Very good call. Um, I don't think... You have evasion as a part. Oh, wait. Uh, do I need to make it? Yes, you do. Uh, what is it? X save. Okay. Seven points of acid. <laughs> Failure. 14 points of acid. Not great. Not great. And then it just kind of like slams its its shield head back in the direction that it was at before. Uh, Tantu. Oh, uh, yeah, you made your deck save. Tantu, it's your turn. Fuck him up. Sam is also muted. Sorry, is the terrain poison underneath me? Uh, it is at, at soaked acid, right? Okay, yeah. He would. Tonda would probably. I mean, I can't move actually. <laughs> huh. You can you can move through them. You're 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 tall enough to move through any. Well, I can't move like yet. onto them though, right? Yes, you can. Okay. They could yeah, he would stagger back from the hit right now. Yeah, and a, a big, in your fur right now. A yeah. big tear would fall, would fall, and he would howl in pain, and then he would swing back with his claw. Um, uh, that will seven. Be, that'll be a critical miss. In is he fairy fired though? Uh, uh, that's uh, correct. Is... Make sure you shift click. Oh, an eight. Oh, um, did you get a double? 
It still no, it still misses. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then he will swing point. again. <laughs> uh, an 18? A 20. Sorry, a 22. Yeah. Uh, 10 points of damage. And he will Eldritch Smite the swing. Oh. <laughs> uh, one second. Let me, let me fix that for you so you can actually okay. do that. And yes, now you can Eldritch Smite. For eight points of force. Yep. As this eldritch energy just sort of like seeps over the, the grown claw, and you'll just watch this magic just course through. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me check one thing. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, so with that slam, uh, the head will jostle a little bit, and you will watch as this creature just. Falls uh, paralyzed once again under the crushing weight of Tontu. Uh, Tontu, upon seeing the Eldritch Smite, when he intended to do a Divine Smite, will again look at his claws confused. And that's my hmm. turn. Okay. Uh, and I click and turn. <laughs> Wait, I don't click I, 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 I did it. I did it by... It was, I was robbed of my end turn. <laughs> one, one moment. I, de I demand a fresh new turn. Here you go. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You beat. He looks uh, you up at Tantu. <laughs> you'll see the <laughs> creature like... has fallen again. Okay. Uh, Kibi looks up at Tantu and is like, like, she did a really good job knocking the bug over. And so she excitedly grabs her short bow, and uh, this is, it's paralyzed, right? So it's an advantage. Correct. Okay. Oh! And it's a crit, which means your 12 damage Ooh. becomes 24 damage. God damn. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. And then our sneak attack. Uh, which will also be critted. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta bust out the calculator for this. Oh, one. wow. That's going to be big. 11, 15, and then... Tontu hears QB and looks for her, but he can't see her anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A devastating 76 points of damage. Yeah. Huh? As you strike an expose, an, 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 a, a simple exposed opening. While the wow. creature no longer paralyzes, a legendary reaction uh, will once again bloat and uh, surge out another acidic wall. Uh, this will be y'all. And <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Olive, it's fine. Olive's going to go ahead and take. Okay, roll two, six, ten. Olive takes five points of passage damage. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, man. Olive, are you okay? Do you need a potion? I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, QB will move, I guess, to the center and attempt to stealth again. Okay. And that'll be end of the turn. Uh, the cheering starts roaring from the crowd up above as you'll see the Ankhag desperate uh, in an attempt to try and stop you. Uh, as a legendary action, you'll watch as it digs back underground uh, and then you'll feel it uh, underneath your feet just kind of... It... Pops back up over under here, and uh, it used one of its acid charges to launch uh, an acid spray over. Yeah. Ooh. So, QB, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Tantu, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. It, is it only five damage if we take it? Wait, don't or, take it. Correct. If, if, 
Are you? I, just, I was just wondering whether to use inspiration. Don't, don't or like not. willingly take it. Yeah. <laughs> you need damage to me. You need no, five no, damage. No. All right. I so. was wondering if I should use my inspiration. That was you need to five damage. damage. <laughs> All right. Wait, did I take damage? Uh, you did. You took half damage. Did oh I wait, no, you took no damage. damage. Sorry, apologies. Apologies. Uh, do you have evasion uh, yet, QB? I don't think so. Oh, I do have that thing that yeah, I can use. That's for uh, uh, that, yeah, that's for 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 attacks for attack rolls. You get evasion at seventh level. Ah, got you. So yes, oh. you, you still take half damage. All oh, right. can I half that again with my uncanny dodge? If an attack roll is made against me, that was a uh, oh. you had to make a saving throw. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Howie. Um, okay. Howie will, having seen all this chaos, um, notice that, I guess, visually, does Tontu have any, like, signs of being full of gross green shit? Is his mouth, like, seeping green stuff? I mean, you're not, nothing visual. Why green? I will say It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> I will say, Tontu, though, um, as the turns continue to pass on, uh, you just feel a sharp pain becoming sharper as time passes on and it's about to reach its apex but he he already feels sad so he doesn't know if that's part of it oh yeah there's nothing visual I'm, tr I'm just trying not to meta game it right because uh, i as a player know the mechanics but how the fuck would howie know what's happening to tonto I, mm. I mean you did you if you saw him get hit perhaps yeah it, did i see him get hit but and by acid uh, you saw him get bit. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, well, then Howie would flap on over uh, to Tontu. Probably around his face area, which I imagine is quite high up in the sky at this point. <laughs> um, and uh, I will... Let's see, how do I do this on... Tontu yeah. eats you like a chicken nugget. <laughs> no! Yeah! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Revenge for the rats. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he'll flap up to his face, and then I will pop this fella. Um, a potion of healing, I'll uncork it with my beak midair and just, like, huck the liquids at his at his mouth. <laughs> there you go, big chap. Good job knocking him down. And then I will continue flying um, over as far away as I can. 20 feet. On to... Yes. Uh, you feel a warmth, uh, not only from the healing, as the pain sort of eases. It's uncertain if it's because the bullet bite sort of was like removed from itself, um, or uh, if something else is happening. But you, your despair. Uh, I, I leave it up to you, but the despair sort of softened. Yeah, he's not sure if, if you know, he was he was healed, or if it was like the praise alleviated some of the sadness. Oh. <laughs> I. <laughs> But he feels better. I will let you know that if you wish, you can revert your form now. But I leave it up to you. Uh, you I think he would large be... because of the collar or whatever the fuck he uh, got on? The, the enlarge effect would also be removed if he does that. Mm. I think he would still be preoccupied with defeating the foe. Mm -hmm. Understood. Yeah, he's got anger to, to Before he out. looked inward. All <laughs> right. Remo. Uh... Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Free punch. Punch. Uh, second punch. He gains inspiration. Fuck. Uh, and uh, 18 and 26, the 10 and 7 uh, will hit. But also, I just allow me to... Yeah, Check. stop me if he does, like, the shield or anything at any point. Okay. Am I good? Uh, I'm, I'm double-checking. Okay. I feel like the 2D, unless I'm rolling literally two ones twice, I have to see what the hell's going on with the advantage. Like, uh, anyways, uh, so... Oh, I see what. Yeah, right. I need to roll these at advantage with fairy fire. Is there yep. like a hotkey for me to click to do advantage? It's like a shift plus. click and control click? It's a plus, and it'll show the highest number between the two. However, um, 
I have to check to see if that actually is working. I've never actually had that work yet. So, but we'll, that'll be something we deal with another time. Uh, it does not slam its head down. Okay, and then I will do a flurry of blows punch. I'm curious what this button does. If I Should I have been using these the whole time? Uh, that is your plus one, so yes, because your hand wraps have plus ones. So you probably but, but they're not, they're rolling the damage on, okay, wait a minute. Oh, I see. I've got, I, in my I, inventory, I've got go, go three ahead. different a, fists and yeah, some I, hand I understand, I understand. I'll clear okay. it up later. Go ahead and hit okay. the unarmed strike. And because again, the update probably screwed some things up. Right. Uh, that'll hit seven points of damage. Uh, how many attacks are you doing currently? I that see... was a flurry of blood. There was five total attacks. Oh, because of your you have multi attack so, or you have extra I have, attack. I as... have two punches from the class action with like extra attack. One from the hoof, and then flurry of blows. Monks get extra attack. Yeah. Oh, cool. it's a martial class. Oh shit! Awesome. Okay. Uh, six and seven. That'll hit. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah, you didn't just catch it. Uh, uh, so as a legendary action, it's just, you're just watching this thing just spit acid all, all over the place wherever it can. It's just it's going. Uh, I need Tantu. Uh, I need QB and I need Remo to roll dexterity space. Oof. Remo, uh, you will be granted inspiration for successful dexterity. A s another save? Another save, please. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, let's go 11 points of acid damage. Uh, okay, so Tantu, or sorry, uh, Remo, you take no damage. Critical success. Uh, UB, you'll take half damage. Uh, 11, correct? Got that number uh, for another five points of damage, and then Tantu, you will take 11 points of damage. Okay, uh, double checking here. All of it is now your turn. Okay, uh, d -d 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 wait. Okay, I am going to cast Prayer of Healing to everyone who needs it. It's up to six creatures of my choice within 30 feet. Oh, ho. oh. yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Time. I'm within 30 feet. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Right. I can't wait but to the, see this one. But the ank keg is also within 30 feet. Fuck that guy. He is Does not included. He get healed? Don't oh. heal no. me. Of my choice. Uh, this feels bad. DM always left out. Dude. Yeah, when do I get healed? I don't think a player's healed me once, actually. What is up with my bad fucking roll? I mean, even the bad roll was good. You just don't yeah. like you just don't like red. I don't like red. Okay. <laughs> uh, go Hot damn, that's a heal. Making sure this Hell goes... yeah. Yes. Yes. Come and get your heals. Are you healing yourself as well? Yes, sir. Yes. That spell is so strong. Everyone Fantastic. just lets out a loud, just, ah, like they're just cheering loudly at the fact that, you know, this ink egg who's been slaying these tieflings day in and day out, and now you're, it appears like you're going to get out of here uh, completely unscathed. Did you get Remo in that? I think yep. I did. Yep. I was just yeah. that low. Okay, go, 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 oh, go. shit. Did I leave Artie at home? <laughs> yeah. Probably. We have Artie at home. Already at oh, home. Oh fuck! Already at home. <laughs> um, and we have an already at home. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it's the end turn button. Whoop. All right, good job. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Here I go chomping again. This time at advantage. Uh, a a question, real quick. Just, Fish. just I, I, I've ne I've never asked this before. Um, so even though like uh, you're attacking someone and I'm not like next to you, do you not get the disadvantage since uh, the, I'm not next to you? The disadvantage. So the so it, I don't think you. you do I have I, to be next to you? Here, I will go ahead and link the ability right now. 
oh. and then we will we will figure it out together. Oh, okay. Because my my brain's soft, and I honestly can't retain information worth shit. Uh, you are Path of Ancestral Guardian. It is what's the ability called again? Uh, wait. Uh, ancestral on, Protectors. Here we go. Starting. This, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, when you uh, to the start of your next turn, that target has disadvantage oh. on any attack roll that isn't against you, and then the target hits a oh. creature, then oh, you shit. attack. That creature is resistant. Blah, 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 blah. So there it is. Anyways, yeah, it's a fiendishly strong thing. I'm going yeah. for the I'm going for the bite with inspiration, which means it's a normal attack. Nine. That misses. Kopi. Okay, cool. Good job, Zara the Bold. Now let's go finish him off. Yeti yeti yeti. Uh, that will miss. However, fuck. You didn't uh, attack with advantage because of the fairy fire. Wait, he uh, still has the, the, the thing? Is that like a... That is an ongoing uh, effect for, I believe, a minute. It's oh, a concentration it effect was... as well. Um, and so far, Howie has not been hit once. So the on the effect continues to on go. Okay, obviously I don't get that one right. Nope, it's all good. Uh, so, yeah, that's correct. Uh, you can do a second attack. Make sure you shift it. Uh, that'll miss. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh... Yori, Yori, Yori. Yori, Yori. And oh. the spirit will kind of okay. <laughs> retreat back. That'll end my turn. Okay. Be sure to hit end turn on the combat track. Oh, that's right. I forgot we're doing it. Do I? On two. That way I just know your turn's really over. Yes, some. It is your turn. I will um, barrel yeah, through everyone, like bowling bar pins. <laughs> barrel through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he'll tower over QB and uh, on all fours as he bounds forward, he'll go for a bite attack on this guy with a 14 to hit. Uh, the 14. Is he still fairy fired or is he good? Uh, it is, he is still fairy fired, so that's the advantage roll. I don't think the advantage button is actually working, so I have no idea. Yeah, it's doing something. It just well, kills I, the roll. I, and I, I have no way way to do it, so I need you I need you guys to shift like just in case. All right, you rolled again. Um, so we'll take the twenty one. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a strength saving throw. It should be a fourteen, not eleven. That's okay. I can go ahead and do it anyway. Here we go. Ale, uh, would you like to knock the creature prone? Um, no. Okay. And then I will bite again. Uh, it'll be claws. You can only you can do oh, two claws one and replace only okay. one of them. But yeah. Uh, Claw. Please roll I'll again roll because it. you're doing it at a yeah. minute. Yep. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Hits, Eleven points of slashing. <laughs> Okie dokie. And uh, I will Eldritch Smite, though. Go for it. Nine for points nine. of extra damage. It's my when, turn. When your turn's over, be sure to hit Enter. End turn. Thank you. Uh, QB, your turn. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you're under. You're literally QB, under. I go these. under. Yeah. <laughs> QB's just kind of like, oh, okay. She's like reaching around. It's like dark everywhere. Um, she, I think, he, is he prone right now? Nope. No, okay. Uh, I'll try to do this at an advantage then. Okay. Uh, 14 will not hit. Oh, okay. Um, I guess then, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just hide. Okay. Health check, please. 17. QB says, sorry. I I got a little confused where I was shooting. Oh, and then I end my turn. Um, as a legendary action, it's just going all out as far as it can. Uh, I need everyone except Remo to make dexterity saving throws, please. Nice. Yeah, nice. Could be me. 
Atsu keeps getting low rolls. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, 10 <laughs> points of damage. Let me go and check here. Uh, Kopi's going to go ahead and take 5 points of damage. Uh, Howie is going to take... Wait, what? Take 5 points of damage. Was On a successful, you take half. Correct. Uh, QB, you will, uh, sorry, uh, Howie, you're good. You will also take five points of damage. Wait, I rolled 18, though. I'm, that is I correct. Can... On success, you take half the damage. The oh, damage half damage. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, do I'm I need stupid. to do concentration check? You sure do. Is that, constitu is that constitution? That's save? a constitution saving throw. Uh, Tantu is going to take the full, I believe it was 10. Yep, Tantu takes 10 points of damage. Nope, nope, takes five points of damage because the evasion. Uh, Olive will take five points of damage. And okay. Howie, your fairy fire maintains. Wonderful. Okay. Howie, it is your turn. Uh, the acid ball goes away. Um. Uh, Howie will go, ouch, we're really taking a beating. <laughs> um after having suffered his first hit of the entire fight. And then he will fly even higher to escape any potential danger. Um, I have a really annoying question. Brett, do you remember where the fuck Artie was? Uh, probably back in the, uh, probably back at your house, I'd imagine. Unless you brought Artie to dinner. Well, he was at the guy on the guy's neck and then he was just assumed to be with me, I guess. If you would like to say that Artie is with you, I will allow it. Yeah, because he was the small arty, so we could go like around that guy's Would you like to deploy now? Yeah, could I could I just have arty on my wrist? Yeah, sure. He went into like dormant mode. Okie dokie. Wonderful. Boop. There's Howie. There's uh, Artie. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um, um, so he's uh, he was in uh, the force cannon mode, I think. Uh, Rex, all the flames were to uh, blast the head. Blow that guy's. Guy. Yeah, that's right. It was force cannon. Uh, all right. Uh, I will uh, use that ability. Uh, one second before you do anything. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and make a... Well, I guess if he's trapped down, he instantly fails dex save, so he would take, unless he has... Does he have resistance to acid? Uh, let me double check for you. I don't think he does, but go ahead. Yeah, double check. He has a, a few couple little things. Eldritch Cannon. Poison and Psychic is what he's got immunity. So he will take uh, okay. 10 points of acid damage. You'll actually watch as you like kind of like wipe everything oh off. Gosh. You'll see that he's, yeah, it starts to get a little soaked. Hold on, Artie. I only need you a moment longer, then you could die. And then he's going to force Artie to shoot. Oh my god. <laughs> uh -oh. There it is. Uh, that'll hit nine points of damage. So that's his bonus action. Um... And I haven't used an action this round, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. So I will pop off with my uh, catapult. And I'll cast that. Oh, it's weird. I keep opening the spell book because I'm so used to using that. I mean, it's um, still in the spell book. I, I, there's no button in the spell book anymore at the bottom that I used to use. Weird. You should be yeah, a screenshot it, it, later on be a... just so I can see you're looking. Because I'm looking at your character sheet and I see catapult right there in the spell book. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I just, I'll I just want to see what you're screenshot. seeing so I can help out. Yeah. Uh, course, what are you catapulting? Um, I will catapult. Okay, let me let me have a little look at my inventory real quick. Running low on pittons. Um, crossbow bolt. I guess I could just huck a crossbow bolt at him. Uh, that'll do. With 1.5 pounds, yeah, I could do a, cr a crossbow bolt straight for its eye. Um. Let and us I will, see. I will cast that now. At first level. Uh, Damn! He succeeds and gets inspired uh, from his dodge. As Nimble the bolt, motherfucker. As the bolt just strikes against the wall. Drat! Uh, as a legendary action. Uh, oh. He will turn over to Remo and go in, spending his inspiration. And since the uh, since Kopi did not hit, the spirits are not active. Uh, gonna go for the a bullet bite. Uh, Twenty four hits for thirteen points of bludgeoning. Reaction combat recovery. That's it. Can I intercept this? 
Oh, do I, uh, did I lose that? You do not have ability. intercept in this form. Five points of damage. Or five points healed, and the bullet toxins do not go through. Whew. All right, Remo, it's your turn. Um, how tall is this right here? How tall is what? Uh, it's uh, it's a 15 foot. Actually, no, that also because the acid soaked it. There are no hills in this area, so this entire area Fuck. is completely flat. Man, I wanted to elbow drop him. All right, I'll just beat the shit out of him. Uh, one punch. Yeah, just uh, finish him off. Okay. I don't need to run away and do a little run move. Uh, that'll hit. How do you dispatch of the foe? Uh, I do a jumping uppercut to its fucking jaw. Like a sure you can. And with that snap, you'll hear its, its head just... As it just completely just falls down. Uh, dispatched. As the, uh... Yay! As the arena lets out a thunderous applause, you'll watch as the acid soaks back into the ground. End of the encounter. Hell yeah. It's funny to me imagining the thunderous applause because there is like, it's a very intimate setting, right? There's like 10 people. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, as thunderous as it Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. It's all of us in this call cheering at the same time. Yeah, I feel like we would have made eye contact with one or two of them multiple yeah, times. Yeah, that one's for my friend out there. Uh, <laughs> uh, my apologies for the thunderous applause. It is a rowdy applause. Uh, thank you. Well, you're, you're welcome. Wow. <laughs> Very um, massive. So, with that, at the turn, it, with the uh, encounter ended, um, Tantu, what are you currently doing? Um... He would uh, want the form to go away and oh. see if that manifests his wishes. So you'll kind of like swell your emotions down. Um, he he focuses less on the the sadness he feels and more on like the presence he feels behind him, like this this kind of like Screen's gonna go spectral black hug second. almost. All right. So uh, this will also end the enlarged uh, person ability. So you will just, I like the transitions now. Um, you'll just watch as uh, Tantu shrinks back down with the eldritch energies that was surging around you. Uh, and as you look over, the Eldritch energy does not go away. And it manifests into another form. As you'll watch this Eldritch wolf, the creature that you had called for with your fine steed a couple of sessions ago, and it's best to help next time. So, uh, to repeat what I said before, uh, you now have a new class feature uh, that allows you uh, to conjure at eldritch entity and beings one of them being this wolf that you can conjure um the wolf stays with you until it is dispatched uh but you are also uh, able to summon the wolf uh with one of your eldritch energies uh you currently have three eldritch energy uh you can use one to transform into the eldritch tantu that you saw or you could use one to conjure uh an eldritch hound uh which you are able to uh, we're able to ride. You'll see the hound uh, turn over to you, uh, and, and just, it kind of just gives you a look. It's nothing. It's not so much intending to be threatening or menacing. It just kind of looks at you, as its goopy, shadowy tail just sort of lets out a slow wag, staring over. Uh, Tonto would look down at his hands and say, "I'm me again," and then he would realize he's been crying and wipe his eyes, and then Aww. he would turn to the wolf. And uh, he'd probably like pat its, touch its head and the, see if the, the energy wolf. feels similar. The wolf will sit and uh, like kind of sit down uh, as a good working boy and hmm. you're able to give it a friendly pat. Yeah, that's you pet him. It was you, wasn't it? It looks over at you. 
and just kind of lets out this like uh, the best way I could describe is like an eldritch like soft whimper nothing pained just more about like a submissive little little sound um as you hear it's eldritch like the the dark distortions from where it is and it's just kind of like yeah it just kind of looks over at you can um Whoa. can he mount that thing yes he can oh shit that's crazy he will can i fly he down will. to the ground sure can uh, <laughs> creepy wine asterisk yeah <laughs> So as as um, the wolf is there and you fly back down, uh, you'll hear the thunderous applause uh, from the gathering as well as uh, Mephistopheles, who will also give a, a hearty clap before standing as well. Sorry if I hurt anyone. No, oh, we're glad you're okay. I wasn't myself. Was there a wolf inside you? I don't think so. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. As Mephistopheles claps, everyone will also follow in unison. Mephistopheles will look down over to you and say, It's exactly what I expected from Ioni. Very well done. Your reward. And he will toss into the arena six of those those onyx tokens uh, that you would have that 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 you saw the uh, herald present before. Uh, and he just yeah he tosses that in, and then we'll state we'll we'll mention. You're free to redeem these with me, and I would be happy to give you uh, artifacts from my collection, magical armaments, to help log your way. So, above board, uh, you will all gain access uh, to one of the, uh, or actually a, a certain tier um, of items from the Mephistopheles collection. It's a long list. Are you ready? <laughs> I hope you have it ready to copy paste. Woo! It's over in the dialogue box. That's everything. Oh, wow. So, Holy moly. Okay. So, we're, we're rich. so you have received uh, six wow. tokens. Uh, you are able to spend um, on rare materials or uh, part of the rare artifacts. Um, you can spend two tokens for one piece of rare magical armaments. Uh, for the uncommon, it's one token per armament. You have been you've been given six to spend. Damn. Oh my gosh! So one each. Wow. Yeah. One each if we're doing uncommon. Right, right, right. Or yeah. we, Here we, we, go we, we form a merger for yeah. for like a collective <laughs> item. <laughs> a merger. But you'll have to take some time to look at Fuck, that. And dude. and yes, it is an extensive list, so there will be some some time to that. You have to select it right now. Um, this will be on break. Mm -hmm. So what is everyone currently doing? Uh, Remo's like waving to the fucking crowd and shit. Yeah, he's, he's living in it. They're cheering. Uh, the gentleman you were seeing before is also cheering. He gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he looks over at this guy and says, that's my friend. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Who cares about the treasure? Remo won friendship this day. I won that guy's respect, that's and all, hopefully he bet on friendship. me. I don't yeah, know if he did win his respect, though. He didn't confirm or deny. Uh, <laughs> he's using you for clout immediately. That's my friend. I don't respect him whatsoever. But I hate him, my but he's popular right now. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. He's so hot right now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Mugatu. Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what is everyone currently doing? Uh, how how he's gonna flap down next to Tontu and say, "You're a good boy. You did very good." And then he's going to uh, pick up his little sphere off the ground and say, "Good job, you!" And dust it off and then walk away. <laughs> cool. Um. So, well, everyone else gathering 
you will kind of hear Mephistopheles chuckle a little bit and says, Capable warriors in this arena is hard to come by. It is an incredibly impressive feat. Uh, you are welcome to join and fight within this arena at any time. I'm sure I can give you more suitable challenges. How about a, a pack of bullets? Hmm? <laughs> Huh? What, like right now? If you so wish. I uh, would, would hate to end the festivities so soon. <laughs> but I'm tired. Are you sure? Uh, well, I suppose a break would be in order. <laughs> Very well. Uh, the Ionians wish to rest, and we will give them that celebratory rest. But we, we thank you for everything. That you have done. Uh, there, uh, before I continue, uh, I see Bria stepped away. I have to wait for Bria. Because shit's happening. All right, I'm going to stare at these items some more. Yeah, go ahead and look at those items. Boots of speed were looking anybody, pretty nice. Can anybody but hear that guy? We, uh, we got two. Can you not oh, hear we... me? Hmm? Benji, can you not hear me? No, that, that was Howie. Oh, okay, okay. I was making sure. He's being sure. old. Oh, okay. I can't tell if it was Howie being old or if you just... just or me being old, me. yeah. Yeah, true. exactly. Through that. Uh, so once uh, we, oh, oh. we share the si we share the six uh, thingies. What are they called again? Uh, yeah. The each rare item costs the two. Marks of each item common costs one. Correct. Okay. As a each party, rare, you gain okay. six marks of Mephistopheles. Shit, I so just remember I, that I'm like, I think I'm capped on uh, magic items. Magical items, yeah. Yeah. I need like, look at How do we check shit. to see if we're... Like, I forgot right? what the fuck I'm wearing. Yeah, so inventory. when you open up your character sheet uh, with C and go over to your inventory tab, uh, anything mm -hmm. with the sun icon is an item that you are attuned to. You can only be attuned to three items. Currently, you're oh, only, only attuned one. to one item. Correct. Oh, wait, I only have two. The cloak of protection. Mm -hmm. Now, say, I don't think anyone's reached their cap. Oh, um, I think QB shit. might be close or has. I think QB no, is capped. QB is capped. That is correct. That's what it QB is. QB okay. capped, like, at the beginning of the, the campaign. Boots, almost, right? boots, of spider, boots of spider climbing, cloak of protection, and the head. I forgot she had the boots of spider climbing. I feel like she never spider climbs. I said it. You need to walk I'm on the ceiling honest, more. There's often. a fucking screwdriver there that I, I would really like. <laughs> That dude who was butchering people, I think QB climbed all over the ceiling in there to freak him out or something like that. Yeah, you also <laughs> climbed on the ceiling in the alchemist house, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah more of that. Oh, a bag of holding. <laughs> Wait, what's this screwdriver, Benji? Now, it is a two cost one, but it, it, mm -hmm. it it's it? a plus two <laughs> modifier to all of what's my stuff. What's it called? Uh, all Just tell me what it's things. called. The all purpose tool, plus two at the top. Oh, and that's just, just like your artificer thing. It's like, yeah, an artificer thing. I'm checking on a thing. Once. But that's only if, if we don't have, like, you know, any slots and people have spare tokens. So Mephistopheles will continue as you are <sighs> gathering up and, and trying to find, you know, what it is you wish to do and will state. Uh, very well. The Ionians need rest if we will make sure to give it as humble hosts of this palace. You know where you can rest, and of course, you are free to talk with me any time, whether you want to enter the arena or about the other thing we discussed during the dinner. You believe that the other thing that was discussed is the, hey, let's get the, get the, get the frick out of here. Let's figure out a way out, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, so skedaddle. What's uh? What's everyone's spirits like currently? Spirit? Spirits? Spirits? Right. Yeah, your spirits, says in like how how's everyone like? Ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts. I, I mean, all... you yeah. you drop like a list full of items. That we're probably all. I, I'm looking at all. Of them. Yeah. Sorry. No, I mean, I'm, 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 I mean your your character. Your like character. Your character spirits. Oh. Um. I'm feeling great in case. How he's tapped as fuck and he got battered in that fight, so. I mean, Kopi's fine, is what she got to say. 
Um, Phoebe's never done so much damage, so she's really hype about yeah. that. Hell yeah. You yeah, you were gonna hit as hard as Model did, I think, at some point. <laughs> Look at those bag of beans. Staring at Ooh. Tom's okay, yeah, definitely done. like. That's an item, like, bag of beans. That he was able to like, <laughs> connect with this creature that he keeps seeing in his dreams. Hell yeah. Yeah, Remo, that's a friend, okay? A fucking eldritch dog in your heart. That dog like, came out of him, though. That's just like him. <laughs> so, Mephistopheles will nod once again and say, Feel free to rest back at your quarters. We will make sure that you will be well fed tomorrow and then tomorrow. And as he says that, an unsettling feeling falls over the area. The wind that was blowing through stops uh oh but i can see the clouds still the wind Stop. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> as you just sort of like just it could just it just the the wind just sort of silences over and you kind of hear this like alf in the distance this this sort of this sort of loud just <laughs> as if something is moving. Mm. It's so unsettling. It gives Mephistopheles thoughts as he turns over in the general direction of what he is hearing. As you will sort of look up into the sky, you will watch as figures start to fly over you can't see what they are i mean as mentioned before the clouds seem to cover the uh the area and you're just watching as this swarm of flying humanoids you're uncertain of what they are uh -huh. are flying overhead wizard of Oz. passing over the palace. Everyone can see, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is like an yeah. overworld? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just watching this swarm of things. Even Mephistopheles will, will turn over and just kind of like look up into the air. State. Strange. Yeah. You hear it. Not as the shadowy figure of a large, oh my, bloated God. infant. How fucking no, man! Floats past. Maybe. With the winged <laughs> creatures off to the east. I can't escape this fucking baby. <laughs> None of us can. It's haunting my ass. Don't kill this baby. Is Kraken, uh, give you ideas on this? <laughs> This is an ongoing threat that has been last that has lasted since the <laughs> second phase. The, since a little bitch named Eleonora Mordov. The children <laughs> of the dead god Cosma had three of these unborn Yetic babies flying. Uh, and you see one of these legendary creatures flying overhead. And Kraken is familiar with these because he faced off against Cosmacara. And spoilers alert, his character died to that. Like permadeath. <laughs> after it, after Cosmacara had been dispatched. But this Ironic. One, but this one is not Cosmacara. As this mm. bloated baby floats over. Cosmacara perished over a thousand years ago when the heroes of Io stood against this unknown. This is another of one of the other cosmos. 
Nice this map. one's nice. I'm sorry? Yeah, I, ho I hope we can befriend this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tried friendship with to baby. It. No, we really haven't. Let's try it. As Mephistopheles stares up into the sky, you will see something that you haven't seen in this entire time. A look of concern. Oh. As he stares up, he will look up into it as this, you just watch. And it is. It literally looks like an army of winged creatures just flying with this giant undead dietic baby that is just letting out this 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 awful wailing as it continues to echo off. The creatures will fade off over into the direction of the uh, the east. Mephistopheles say is that Osma Osma Tara one of the three eldritch weapons is that is that what all rocks meant when he gathered a weapon he's going to use He's gained control over the, over the child. As silence falls over the arena, it seems that Io is threatened once again. God damn it. That's the that's really concerns man. us, you guys. This is none of our problem. I feel like we have to clean up a lot of messes. <laughs> I don't. Um, we don't have to do anything. No, we don't. We can just go. We it's are the we, we pretend we do not see it. I don't give it. a shit about this realm. <laughs> We're we going home. We what the hell, Remo? <laughs> what what the mean? hell? I don't give a shit about this realm. He says. No, they're not from here. That's what do you problem. care about? What do you care about, Remo? Huh? Guys, I'm Getting from home. the. I'm from the Fey place. I'm. This is not for me. I'm out. I apparently have a connection to the Fey place, so I'm also out. Yeah, that's what the other guy said as well. Like he said, log in from like the Fey or something. I'm yeah, all right, there. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, He's whatever. Out. I'm gonna save this fucking planet. Okay? And that will end today's <laughs> session of Curious Curious. As a threat approaches Io once again. Bunch of cowards. Yay. Now, of course, as you all have so have said before. Um, this is a threat that you have witnessed as it flies over the Palace of the Collector. Uh, you, as party members, as players, are free to do nothing of this threat. I as pretend I do not game. see it. Correct. <laughs> if you wish to not participate in it, then you do not have to be involved with it. But that will end today's session. Curious, curious. Thank you guys so much for playing. Mm. Big clap, big clap. Big clap. Hey. Thank, you, Brett. thank you. Thank you. Alex, I know you got to go. So thank you so much for hanging out. And we'll see you in a couple Goodbye, of weeks. Goodbye, Alex. Hey, yo. Pop, pop, thank pop, you pop. again. Yes, and you then uh, in, uh, two weeks. I'm just going to drop that in the chat as something I, I want. But if people don't <laughs> buy stuff, uh, okay. This is on your like <laughs> one. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. we'll do like a shopping list between sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good oh. idea. Time. Okay, cool. See you guys. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. 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 So I, I would like to ask the party, uh, now that there is an impending threat heading to Io, um, it, uh, you're uncertain of what direction is heading uh, through the Shadow Veil. Would your characters uh, get involved and investigate this threat, or would they continue their efforts to try and get home? It really depends hmm. on what do you see your characters as? You see them as the, the fantasy pious heroes that see a uh, dire threat and attempt to stop it? Or are you just trying to get home? Absolutely not a hero. Yeah. <laughs> um, could, couldn't be. Yeah. Well, actually not couldn't be further, but couldn't be more neutral to things like that. I feel like all of us from such a small walk of life, it doesn't even occur to her to get involved. Like, yeah, I, don't well, I think it would be um, centrist, so. It would definitely be like a not yet scenario. <laughs> And yeah. The message has been received. Your yeah, personally, next... I just feel like we yep. don't have, like, a reason, right? 
Of it's course. Not, as as of right now, like, like, as, of right, as of this moment. Course. Yeah, as of right now. I understand. Moment, like, it's not yeah. like a threat to our home or anything. It doesn't um, concern me. Understood. I mean, it, it might be. Just, so, yeah. yeah so, we just, uh, we, we're just too dumb to realize I, I Yeah, would, yeah, yeah. I, also I, would, think that... I would like to clarify just because you have witnessed the threat does not mean you need to take part in it, nor does it mean you need to participate in it. You have yeah. witnessed that a dangerous foe is trying to arrive at Io. But if you as your characters do not wish to get involved in whatever the heck that is, and wish to continue on your way, the campaign will continue to mold towards that. So, mm. since we are moving away, you have witnessed a threat on the approach, and you will pass it for now. Um, what would your characters be doing the next day? Would they be going into the arena? Or would they immediately begin to look for a way to get out? Mephistopheles uh, has offered uh, a way to assist you with that. Or is it something that you wish to do on your own? I'm all arena out. I got it out of my system. He's no. getting kind of depressio from all the dark in the world. Like then the yeah, next question I have for you. I, I'm definitely arena out. Then the next question I have for you is what do you do now? What is the next um, thing that you would all do? Do I get back to uh, the keep? And then I want to either explore uh, through other portals there or to try and um, fix my, my damn ship or something to do with you right. know, the so place that we came is, from. That is future future because you're still stuck here within the Shadow Veil. So oh, you'll find a way oh, out, but I don't want to work with Mephistopheles. Okay, that's the question I, I want to look for. I, I want to find and save Grandma, dude. Okay. Go ahead. I want to oh. find and save Grandma, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the people they the people they took prisoner. We just haven't yeah. seen. Oh yeah, the Grandma. I think Kubi yeah. would want to help save Grandma and also. Uh, I think she'd be interested in like helping Kubi with the Shadow Veil. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kubi would want to help save Grandma and also. I think she wants to ask him about the memory release thing. Right. So you would still that have dealings sense. with Mephistopheles. Yeah, I'm definitely not done with Mephistopheles either. I mean, mm -hmm. it seems. Like it's working out pretty well for us, and he acknowledged what what went down, even though he didn't feel truly remorseful for it. He didn't try to hide it necessarily, so I feel like he's uh, he's worth dealing with. Um, Olive definitely has questions potentially. I thought you just said you have a, Olive has a crush on him potentially. <laughs> Olive has a fat crush on him. She writes a mess of meth. I can't even fucking say mm -hmm. his name. <laughs> Wow. She's so flustered. She's so flustered. I'm like, oh, I'm curling so my hair. <laughs> I don't even know how to say his name. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I would definitely veer towards dealing with him some more and trying to figure out, you know, yeah. with him where these exits are. All right. So I know Emart said he didn't want to do dealings, but the rest of you sounds like are on to do, to, to, to do some dealings, whether it would be. Um, but definitely, it sounds like on the way to find a way home, you would not mm -hmm. uh, aid. You would not ask for Mephistopheles' aid. It would be something that you would try and figure out on your own, correct? Wait to get home. Well, I know you guys are attempting to escape the Shadow Veil, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you I thought. I oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I was gonna no, say I please. thought he was the only way we knew of, so I thought we didn't really have a choice. Well, well, we could. We don't know that we could oh, okay. look for something. He else. has presented. A, a, he has presented an option. An option. That okay. doesn't mean oh. he, it is the only option. Okay. Right now, the only way you know to go to, that, that of a potential to get home that you know of is because Mephistopheles has stated, "Hey, I'm gonna. I will be more than happy to take you home. You know, we'll, we can work on this together. But if you guys are like, ha ha, yeah, thanks. We'll get back to you on that." Guys, let's figure out another way out that yeah. doesn't involve him. <laughs> that is an option that you can take. Yeah. Just, yeah. Be just because an option has been presented does not mean it is the only option you have. But yeah, it I, would it least... would it would mean it would mean you have a bit of legwork ahead of you to try and right. figure out what another option is. Again, mm -hmm. the Shadow Veil is a prison. So trying to break out is not as easy as it seems. Right. Well, I, I mean, when I say continue dealings with him, obviously we have these tokens and shit like that that I yes. want to wrap up. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And maybe get an inkling of things. Maybe try play him a little bit to try and figure out anything he knows. Okay. But I, I don't mean, yeah, I'm not all in on 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 throwing down with Mephistopheles. Okay then. 
So next session, um, you guys will complete the long rest um, and see what happens to the palace uh, now that a ancient dead god has now floated overhead. You can definitely tell everyone is especially uneasy about that. Um, mm -hmm. So it looks like next session will still uh, be within the, uh, the palace. And yeah. we'll see where we go from. All right, let's go ahead and do our bingo. Let's go ahead and do our uh, fan art. Did you say bingo? Did I say bingo? <gasps> so, I love bingo. <laughs> Dude. I love bingo. All right. I'm amazed I wasn't dead considering all the major threats to it. Well, it is. I think we've got it's, heroes. Yeah, it's not blown us, up. But it's just not yeah. us, yeah. It's been blown up. They exist out there for sure. It has got, and we're it, relying on that. <laughs> it has blown up. It has been shattered. Um, but also, for those that are asking about that, um, <laughs> it's a D&D &D game. So, of course, there's going to be cosmic threats that are looming. It's not just going to be Farm Simulator for 20 sessions. Although it could be. Would Although it could be Winks at Camera. Winks at Camera, farming game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead and share the screen. And I'm also going to show you guys as well. Up, up, uh. Up, 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 uh. I thought you were helping the McDonald's team at first. Oh, sorry. Uh, generate card. <laughs> Uh, no death saving throws today. Uh, we definitely had some nat one. Uh, the party is uh, not spooked by Tantu's appearance. Uh, I think we had some people spooked. Or are you saying no one? Or are we saying no one spooked? Anyway. People were spooked, I'd say. Yeah, some people were. Party mm -hmm. attempts. Oh, Howie. Uh, jailbreak, <laughs> no. Uh, one of the challenges is a bullet for that. Hey, look at that. Um, I, I did say a pack of bullets, so that was a. Very good call. Thank you so much. Uh, most of the session takes place in the arena. Yep. Primo's friend actually cheers for him. He yeah. did at the end. A fight is halted slash interrupted. No. Uh, phase two reference for Mephistopheles loot. Um, I'll just check. Uh, Mephistopheles gives the party a quest. Um, no, but I mean, there's mention of, of talks. I'll, I'll check that off. Jokes about Tantu having rabies. <laughs> Wait, someone said rabies? Someone say rabies in this, uh... I know someone said it last week. I can't week. remember if we said rabies mm. this session. A herald from I the... certainly didn't. That's rude. <laughs> uh, my character. A, a herald from the other Shadow Lords arrives. Nope. Big fan of myself as a character, Brett. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Someone tries to ride the ink egg. Nope. Lord Orlok's minions are encountered. Technically, yeah. Artie dies again. No. Was no. there cursed RP this session? Uh, no. I don't think a there was a not really. I don't know. Yeah, but babies be doing that in IO, you know? <laughs> uh, Nat 20 checked. The party does all the available arena fights. Nope. Tantu sounds exactly the same in goop form. Nope. Loot distribution. Uh, didn't happen this session, but I'll check that off because you guys are currently figuring that out. Remo or Kopi immediately gambles with their favors. Nope. Unexpected round two to, to a fight. Nope. Kopi copes. Uh, Always, every session, every single time. <laughs> Free score. No inspiration ability. We haven't unlocked that. So, uh, looks like no bingo, but we came close. Shuffle. Oh. Pretty close, yeah. All right. So, trying to get over to my fan art section. God, I hate this. Uh, sorry everyone. I'm trying to scan our the the window. Okay, I could. God, blessed. Okay, trying to move our uh, shared screen window because it just it's we it really wants to stick to one corner or the other, <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, cool, awesome. All right, here we are. Now I can go. Um, so let's see what we've got. Here. They're having a good time. Yes. You guys can see what the, the art, fuck right? is how he's saying to Kopi to make her like <laughs> uh, <laughs> stare forward. Yeah. He's pointing. 
Yeah. Oh, Aww, that's that's so cute. Or you have cookies? Eating or maybe cheese and crackers? Yeah. <laughs> Oh that's my god. Good. Yeah, that's yes. cookies or crackers, yeah. <laughs> cookies all that good for real. Honestly, my face went eat cookies. <laughs> oh, I do yeah. that also in real life. <laughs> what, vacant stare? No, that's the sugar rush hitting. Oh, hey. Hey. Or maybe oh, that's really. <laughs> also could have been watching how I eat rats. Damn, that looks good. No, that's really good. Yeah. Very nice. What is he holding a banjo? He's holding oh. his ba oh. oh, that's his it mace, does, probably. It does oh, look mace. like a banjo, though. I see what It's gonna see. play you a song. That is so cute. Is that McDonald's? <gasps> oh, cute. Is that a like, school episode? That's so fucking <laughs> Wait, no, no, wait, there is no. Oh, that was Brett God. McDonald. Right? I thought oh the next God. scene was me tripping and dropping my McDonald's, <laughs> and I was ready to no. break down, dude. Oh my no. God. That's actually the source of all your I thought it was so gonna be a two parter of tragedy. <laughs> All you, you, sun high. You've been hurt so many times, but that's I okay. Know. You up? Oh. That's and very cute. My my bit. Anyways, <clears throat> you were hurt so many times, but that's okay. Oh my god, that's so <laughs> cute. I love that they've made Tom oh feel like a boss. He's like melting. I love oh that so much. <laughs> <laughs> What? A copy with Just all of it a baby carrier? A baby yeah. carrier. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Holy shit. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, like the texture's the cool. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks like, like real bark. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, bark's the right word, thank you. Uh, this okay. is a, this, this was a phase that's a cute one taunty. art. It is. Of o Oswin uh, having Ben's back is the what the oh my god what yeah it's that's so cool the throwback one. wait oh. they got Ben's outfit right spot yeah. on the, ten out of ten rare well I know you've showed it showed it before on, on I know it's just man. impressive yeah they had to dig through the vaults they, yeah they they had to do something they digging. had to dig through the vaults or they had to go through your extremely cursed Twitter timeline either, either way, way apologies uh, uh, no <laughs> I was gonna say either way you you win you you, you won it. congratulations. <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. That's some Remus. Shit. That's yeah. not his name. This is labeled Romo? by Bearbot. <laughs> oh my God. This is this is labeled by Bearbot uh 550th piece of fan art. Hello? <gasps> Yo. Bearbot, oh you, you're a monster. My you're, a, you're a fiend. Oh Look my at that. God. That's so That's good. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're on the right. No, we're there's the right. a lot to unpack here. No, we're on the left. And the oh. right. Wait, wait, hold on. There's a lot. We're in, we're, we're You're scattered apart. all about. Yeah. You're yeah. Scattered oh, we're all on the left about. and they're on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And uh, my favorite part is me having this crisis of like trying <laughs> to just. Because if there oh were so God. many people in the car just kind of fucking around behind me, I would be looking like. Oh, that. talk about the back seating, dude. The back seating That's in this like car. Stop. Stop. Oh God, holding so on to good. tail, holding on to somebody else. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> Wait, you and me are actually gonna die. Yeah, yeah. you guys were like falling off. Oh yeah. my god. Wait, I'm gonna die. You'll be fine, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I, I like can that. Only float I, down. I like that mm -hmm. cutie smile. <laughs> yeah, like I. Yeah. I just realized all of us holding That's a pillow. That's what's happening. She's killing oh him. No. She's pulling me out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> The true intentions Classic. come out. Yeah, she's a murderer, man. Yeah. Look at this big fluffy Aww. boy. Oh, big and fuzzy. Cute. Yeah, fluffy boy. Fluffy boy. Three foot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dog of war. Dude, that spell is crazy. The one where that. you made him like a giant. Yeah. yeah it like, also cool. makes people small, too. Hey, yo. Oh. oh, no. That's the functionality of that. It's trying to that communicate. That feeling when you turn your party member into a kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Mr. Burns thing I was saying. Thank you so, so much. Oh, no, that's that. amazing. That is really good. The nose is Holy amazing. shit. That's so good. Wow. Oh, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Howie's monster. You know, I, I didn't do any direct <laughs> combat for like five rounds. I literally just <laughs> flew around doing shit to Tonto, like beckoning him. <laughs> yes. Find Cubie and all that fluff. Getting oh. swept up in it. That's all about the fluff. 
Summer, thanks for posting. Here's the official art of Wolf. Boy. Oh, that's cool. Oh. I like it. Does it have a name? I mean, I, does it? Looks at Sam. It's Tantu. What do you mean? Oh, looks at Tantu. <laughs> looks at Summer. Like, you no. gotta name the you boy. You gotta name it. It's your boy. Or girl. Or Isn't girl. it an extension of the thing I don't know the name of? Uh, correct. So you get to name it. Why? Well, what would I Tantu not name, name it, it until I learn its name? But... As well, soon as you learn its real name, what? then you're gonna be like, okay, no, your name's yeah, actually it's this. Wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. I choose your name, motherfucker. <laughs> Oopies, look at this boy. Good boy. That's so good, cute. What a good boy. How do they draw this shit so fast? Hello? I know. Well, a lot amazing. of these, yeah, a lot of these Talent. ones were done this session. <laughs> what Talent. is Beautiful that, stuff. Brett? What what is that? I don't, I don't know. I'm don't sorry. ask a room full of streamers, dude. That's a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just we we all look at ourselves. And we all just be like, oh, I'm not, no. what talent? I'm not talented. Oh no, am I talented? Oh god, how no. am I still doing this? No. Well, you are. You made IO, and uh, you true. Know. See, everyone is. here is talented. Okay, we're, we're not Shiggy doing this. Shiggy is Bree is Bree's an artist. We're not doing this. Bree's an artist too, actually. Listen, yeah, Greg, term. Sam, we need to think about some things. Okay? Yeah, they're really, really narrowing okay. us down right now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like you did this. You set talent. yourself up. You set yourself up for this. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We uh, uh we will be off next week, but we shall more than likely return on. Happy belated Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving to those that celebrate it. Enjoy. Day of Turkey. Happy, Even if you don't celebrate it, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Get owned. Yes. Stuffing my face. Damn. Did you say get owned? Yeah, get, get owned. Yeah. Forcibly celebrating Thanksgiving. I didn't celebrate Thanksgiving, and then I was fed Thanksgiving, and now I celebrate Thanksgiving. That's how Benji is, That's all I have too. to say. Dude, that's oh, all I have yeah. to say about Thanksgiving. It is a good holiday. I'll, I'll yeah. <laughs> He's All converted. Right. <laughs> All right. We got him. I'll Yay. see you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye. Okay, bye, Brett. Thanks for the sweet session. Bye.